everyone a very good evening to all of you i hope i'm clearly visible audible so i welcome you all for today's session i am dr priyanka sachdev here and today we all gathered here to study leukemias right so let me see if everything is good to go everything is visible audible just a second let me see okay i guess it's clearly visible okay hello so today we are going to discuss the leukemias do you find leukemias difficult Yes or no? Do you find it difficult? Let me answer the same question after two hours. So in the two hours, I am going to make leukemia as a cakewalk for you, a fun for you. Let me ask the same question. Do you find leukemia as difficult at the end of the session after two hours? Okay. So today in this session, we are going to compare the four leukemias that is CML, AML, ALL and CLL in the most simplified possible manner in this world. So, uh, you will find this session very interesting, very useful, whatever exam you are targeting for. If you are a second prof student and you are targeting for your uh, university exam in pathology or you are in your final year and you are targeting your medicine exam. So, in the hematology section, the leukemia will be useful for you. And if you are an intern or post-intern and you are targeting for any of the competitive exam like NEET, PG, FMG, INICT, USMLE, PLAB, the session is going to be ultra useful for you. So, whatever section you take, the leukemia is a very important topic. Topic. and students find it difficult so without wasting any further time i guess i must start so let's start with leukemia so let me start let me share my screen with you give me a minute to share my screen with you i guess you can see my screen so let's start the topic that is leukemia okay so leukemia is basically everyone knows it's a blood cancer so it is a disorder of blood it's a disorder of blood in the blood basically it's a disorder of wbc so if you want to understand every depth in leukemia you must understand wbc first if you don't understand how does the wbc formed in the bone marrow what are the precursors of wbc you can't understand leukemia so let me start from the basic i'm assuming that you don't know you know nothing about the leukemia i'm starting from the scratch and I will take you to the super apex of the leukemias. Let's start from the scratch. Okay. So let's start it. Okay. Yes. So let's start. So as I told you, leukemia is a disorder of WBC. So let's first in the five minutes, let's see how does the WBCs are formed. Okay. What are WBCs? White blood cells. They are, they are, they are the leukocytes. How many types of WBCs are present in human? There are five types of WBCs. There are five types. Basically, there are two types. The granulocytes and a granulocytes granulocytes are the wbc they have granules present in their cytoplasm that's why they are known as granulocytes and a granulocytes are the wbc they don't have any granules in the cytoplasm that's why they are known as a a means absent absent the granules are absent so three of them are granulocytes what are the three type of granulocytes neutrophil eosinophil basophil neutrophil have pink or purple granules in the cytoplasm i appreciate it Eosinophils have brick red color in the cytoplasm. Granules in the cytoplasm, brick red color. Appreciated. And basophils have dark blue or black color granules in the cytoplasm. But the common thing is that they all have granules in the cytoplasm. Got it. These are the granulocytes. Coming on A granulocytes. They don't have granules in the cytoplasm, obviously. That's why they are known as A granulocytes. So these are of two types. Lymphocytes, we can see the nucleus and hardly any cytoplasm you can see. Can see cytoplasm. And the second is monocyte. You can see the nucleus is horseshoe shape. It is horseshoe shaped nucleus. Sometimes kidney shaped nucleus is there. And this is monocyte. But you appreciate in the cytoplasm there are no granules. These two are adrenocytes. Okay, we got it. So total five types of WBCs are there. We got it. Granulocytes, these are of three types. And agranulocytes, these are of two types. So it is neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, we see. And agranulocytes may we have lymphocytes and monocytes. So total WBCs are there. Now the next question, where does they formed? 
where does they form tell me the organ of course they all are formed in the bone marrow let me show you how does they form so you see this is the bone marrow in the bone marrow all the blood cells are formed rbcs wbcs as well as platelets all the uh, blood cells are formed in the bone marrow so in the bone marrow the first cell which give rise to all the blood cells is known as hematopoietic stem cell i call it the father the ancestor of all cells the hematopoietic stem cell is the father or the ancestor of all the blood cells so let me tell you this is the hematopoietic stem cell present in the bone marrow now from this hematopoietic stem cell you can see the two arrows are coming so two cells are formed one is myeloid stem cell or myeloid progenitor or one is lymphoid stem cell or lymphoid progenitor so you can see myeloid progenitor and lymphoid progenitor progenitor is the stem cell so it gives rise to two stem cells two lineage two stem cells one is myeloid stem cell one is lymphoid myeloid progenitor lymphoid progenitor now how many type of blood cells are there say ma'am there are three types of blood cells we have rbcs known as erythrocytes we have platelets okay which are known as megakaryocytes and we have wbc that is leukocyte so we have erythrocyte megakaryocyte and leukocyte the three type of blood uh, blood cells and the wbcs are of five types we have already seen so total 5 plus 1 plus 1 so total seven type of blood cells are present we have to form all the seven that is five wbc one rbc one platelet from these uh, stem cell so how does they form how does they form please understand first if you have any query please write down in the chat box i am having an eye on the chat box also but if i am in the middle of something i am explaining you i will not interrupt that let me finish that portion and i will come on your queries so don't worry if you have any query just text it here and as soon as i finish that something i am explaining you after that i will come on your queries also okay okay listen now so as i told you there are two type of progenitor myeloid progenitor and lymphoid progenitor so myeloid progenitor give rise to rbcs all rbcs it give rise to all platelets also all platelets and there are five type of wbc out of the five type of wbc you know there is a cell which is formed here is known as myeloblast this myeloblast give rise to four type of wbc which four neutrophil eosinophil basophil and monocyte but not lymphocyte so all the rbcs are formed from myeloid all the platelets are also formed from myeloid series out of the five wbc four of them are formed from the myeloid now the one is pending only one that is lymphocyte that will be formed from lymphoid the lymphoid progenitor so same thing is written in front of you please understand please understand if you don't understand things you will not be able to understand the different type of leukemias please understand from the basic so you can see it here there is myeloid progenitor which give rise to all rbc because it will give rise to erythroid precursor it will give rise to rbc the platelets are also formed from the myeloid precursor only myeloid progenitor and here is a cell formed which is known as myeloblast what's the name of the cell myeloblast myeloblast give rise to four wbc out of the five wbc four are formed here neutrophil eosinophil basophil and monocyte but not the lymphocyte so only one cell so out of the seven cells six are formed here only the last one the, the, uh, the seventh one it will be formed from the lymphoid progenitor lymphoid stem cell it gave rise to lymphoblast and it gave rise to lymphocyte so you can see the blood cells you can see so all the rbcs all the platelets and maximum wbc i will use the word maximum that is four out of five so four out of five that is maximum wbc are formed from the myeloid progenitor so can i call the myeloid progenitor as trilineage can i call say yes or say no yes it is a trilineage trilineage means it is giving rise it is giving rise to three type of cells it is giving rise to rbcs also it is giving rise to platelet also and it is giving rise to maximum wbc also this one is not trilineage and here i guess you all can appreciate two type of blast are formed you have to understand the meaning of the blast myeloblast and lymphoblast myeloblast is from myeloid progenitor lymphoblast is from lymphoid pro progenitor myeloblast give rise to these wbc and lymphoblast give rise to lympho lymphocyte only currently i am not interested in rbc i am not inter interested in platelets to whom i am interested i am teaching you leukemia so i am interested in wbcs only so wbcs all five wbcs are formed from blast so you can see this is the thing i taught you till now you can see this is the hematopoietic stem cell it give rise to two stem cells myeloid stem cell and lymphoid the myeloid is giving rise to rbcs it is giving rise to platelet and it is giving rise to four wbc out of five and the lymphocytes are arising from the lymphoid stem cell 
the same is shown to you in this figure also okay now the point is that they are not formed directly listen 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 i am interested in wbc as i told you so i want to teach you how does the lymphocytes are formed it is not directly that lymphoblasts give rise to lympho lymphocyte there are certain precursors in between you have to write down you have to learn the intermediates the same here also i will i will not teach you all four i will take the prototype as neutrophil so i want to tell you how does neutrophil is formed from the myeloblast tell me the intermediates here so in the same way eosinophil basophil and monocytes are also formed but we will not see all so i want to teach you two cells in detail the neutrophil how does they form from the um, um, this uh, myeloblast and the lymphocytes how does they form from the lymphoblast you have to understand the intermediates in between which are known as precursors if you have understood this believe me leukemia will become a cakewalk for you believe me got my point so you can see this is the precursors in between it looks complicated don't worry let me simplify it let me simplify it so i will simplify it so let's take neutrophil from here i will tell you the precursors and let's take the lymphocyte from here i'm not teaching you the precursors of these three they are likewise the same as that of neutrophil only so we will take a prototype from here that is neutrophil the point is that the neutrophil is formed from the myeloblast and there are many intermediates in between and the lymphocyte is formed from the lymphoblast and there are certain intermediates in between we have to see that intermediates which are known as precursors got it now see let's start from the beginning so again you can see this is hematopoietic stem cell so two blasts are there myeloblast lymphoblast okay let's take myeloblast first okay i want to tell you from the myeloblast how does neutrophil are formed tell me the intermediates there are five intermediates in between you have to learn the name of the connecting intermediates from the myeloblast to neutrophil learn it so from the myeloblast the first cell which is formed is promyelocyte then it is myelocyte then it is metamyelocyte then it is band formed and finally neutrophil so please learn the precursors so what are the precursors first is myeloblast then promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte you can say it together promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte then band form and finally neutrophil in the same way eosinophil basophil and monocytes are also formed we will not see their precursors coming on the other side you can see we have a lymphoblast here lymphoblast give rise to lymphocyte but only one intermediate is there there are not five intermediates only one pro lymphocyte so this is the complete thing so the first cell is hematopoietic stem cell it give rise to two blast you have to understand blast what is blast we have two blast myeloblast lymphoblast okay myeloblast give rise to neutrophil okay i know it's also eosinophil basophil and monocyte but i am interested in neutrophil right now and lymphoblast give rise to lymphocyte tell me the intermediates who will tell me the intermediates myeloblast promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte band form and finally neutrophil okay here lymphoblast only one pro lymphocyte and finally lymphocyte that's it if you have understood this if you have learned this let's move ahead now you are ready to start with the leukemia if you have understood the basics the same thing is written in front of you you can see you can see myeloblast it give rise to promyelocyte myeloblast it give rise to promyelocyte then myelocyte then metamyelocyte then band form then finally neutrophil and you can see the lymphoblast this one is lymphoblast lymphoblast this is pro lymphocyte and this is mature lymphocyte the b lymphocyte and t lymphocyte these are the two types everyone give me a thumbs up in the chat box if you got the basics if you got the basics everyone give me a thumbs up in the chat box please i request so if you got this we will start leukemias right now that was the overview now you can understand what is leukemia what is blood cancer how many of you got it give me a thumbs up come on if you have any doubt please you are open to ask don't hesitate if you have any doubt till now please ask it because if you don't understand this now there is no use of the next ahead to us sitting here and watching it or listening it because the, the complete leukemia is based on this only everyone got it so kindly give a gesture that you got it come on can we go ahead okay so let's start it so i told you this is the precursors now this is our master diagram in this diagram only i will teach you the four type of leukemias now listen i told you this is happening in the bone marrow this is bone marrow and this is blood this is blood vessel so in my bone marrow all these cells are present these all are present these all are present in my bone marrow hematopoietic stem cell is present which is giving rise so all the precursors are present in my bone marrow but in my blood who is coming only the mature versions the immature versions do not come in the blood only the mature forms so from here neutrophils are coming along with neutrophils i know 
neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, monocyte, I will consider all. They all are coming. Okay, but the mature forms. And from here, lymphocytes are coming. My point is that these are the mature cells. I mean to say, please understand, immature forms do not present in blood, but they are present in bone marrow. They are not present in blood, but they are present in... So if you check my bone marrow or any healthy human bone marrow, you will find all these. But if you check my blood or any healthy human being blood who don't have any blood disorders, any WBC disorders, you will find the mature uh, WBCs in their blood, but not the immature ones. Okay, so this is the basic. Now, what is leukemia? This is leukemia. Leukemia is a rival of immature forms, especially the blast in the blood. So once the blast are coming in the blood, oh my God, blast. Which blast? Myeloblast and lymphoblast. If they are coming in the blood, it's leukemia. The immature blast are coming in the blood. In acute leukemia, there are two types of leukemia, acute and chronic. In acute leukemia, the blast, the blast is the first cell. The first cell is the blast, myeloblast and lymphoblast. They are coming in the blood in acute leukemias. In chronic leukemias, the later, later precursors can also come in the blood. But it is the precursors which are coming in the blood. So whatever is the leukemia, it is the precursors which are coming in the blood. Except CLL, in CLL blasts do not come. In CLL, mature lymphocytes are there which become abnormal because of the mutation. But in most of the leukemia, the blasts are coming in the blood. So immature forms are coming in the blood. Now you may be thinking, ma'am, why? Why they are coming in the blood? Usually they don't come in the blood. Usually the mature forms are coming in the blood. Now you told us in a healthy human being, the mature forms are coming in the blood. Why the blasts are coming in the blood? We understood that once the blasts are coming in the blood, it's leukemia. We understood that. But the question arises in your mind is why? You should ask this question and why they are coming. So the answer is mutation. So in myeloblast or in lymphoblast or in the other precursor cells, there are certain mutations which are taking place. Mutation. I will tell you the exact mutation also. Certain translocations, certain deletions, certain mutation. In various leukemia, the mutations are different. Now, because of that, they become cancerous cells and they start doing uncontrolled mitosis. You know, uncontrolled mitosis is the hallmark of cancer. Once the cell have the mutation and because of that mutation, if the particular cell get converted into a cancer cell, that cell will do uncontrolled mitosis and replace all other cells. Example, if this myeloblast, imagine this myeloblast, it is having certain mutation because of physical, chemical or biological carcinogen. This myeloblast have certain mutation, okay? Not other, any other cell. Only this myeloblast has certain mutation. So this myeloblast will do uncontrolled mitosis and it will replace all other cells. And it will be spilled over in the blood. I am using the word spilled over. It will be spilled over in the blood because it is too high. Normally don't come in the blood, but sometimes if it is, it is too high, it is doing uncontrolled mitosis, it will be spilled. So this cancer is known as AML. Sometimes lymphoblasts do so. There is mutation in the lymphoblast. So lymphoblast will do the uncontrolled mitosis and it is spilled over in the blood. That is ALL. Sometimes all these cells will do uncontrolled mitosis. They all are spilled in the blood. Myeloid, myeloid precursors. It is known as CML. So different cancers have different type of mutation. Ultimately, they convert into cancer cells. And because they convert into the cancer cell, they do uncontrolled mitosis. And because of the uncontrolled mitosis, they are spilled in the blood. And once they are spilled in the blood, it is known as leukemia, the blood cancer, the blood cancer. Actually, the disorder is not in the blood. It's a misnomer, you can say. The disorder is in the bone marrow. So leukemias are the disorders of the bone marrow. There is a disorder in the bone marrow. In the bone marrow, certain mutations are taking place because of which the blast or the precursors are spilled in the blood. How many of you got it? That is the basic. That is the basic. Okay, now listen, listen one step further. What ahead? These blasts are coming in the blood. Sometimes they remain only in the blood, okay? Like the chronic leukemias, they remain only in blood. Chronic myeloid leukemia as well as chronic lymphoid, CML as well as, well as CLL. They remain in the blood, okay? But sometimes in certain leukemias, after coming in the blood, they enter into the solid organ and form the discrete masses in many solid organs like liver, like spleen, like lymph nodes, producing, uh, producing various discrete masses. So leukemias can give rise to lymphomas, not always, not always, sometimes. It is not necessary that all leukemia convert into lymphoma. No, no. Sometimes they do so. And not all leukemia. It happens in AML. It happens in ALL like more frequently, but not in others. CML may don't happen. How many of you got it? How many of you got it? So sometimes leukemias can give rise to lymphomas. Not always, mind my words. So this is the basics if you got. So this is known as organ infiltration. Organ infiltration. So normally, the summary is that the normally the blasts are present in the bone marrow. 
I'm I'm a healthy human being. I don't have any WBC disorder. So in my bone marrow, the blast are there. Myeloblast is also there. Lymphoblast is also there. But they are present in my marrow. They are not present in my blood. They are not present in my organs. If the blast, if the myeloblast or lymphoblast, they because of the mutation, they become cancer cell and they do uncontrolled mitosis. Because of the uncontrolled mitosis, they become too high in number. They replace all other cells and they are spilled in the blood. Once the blast comes in the blood, it is known as leukemia. In the acute leukemia, sometimes in chronic leukemia, along with the blast, the, uh, the immature versions also come. Okay. The later precursors also come. This is the early precursors in the series. The earliest precursor in the series is blast. Got my point? And after coming in the blood, but not always, sometimes they infiltrate in various organs. And leukemia can convert into lymphoma sometimes, not always. Mind my words. I hope you all got it. I hope you all got it. Say yes if you got it. So let's classify leukemia. Let's classify leukemia. It's very easy. Listen, listen. Now the complete thing is depending which blast is coming. Which blast is coming. This is a simplified version of leukemia. I'm telling you the classification. Which blast is coming. Is it lymphoblast or is it myeloblast? Which blast is coming. If lymphoblast is coming in the blood, it's known as lymphoid leukemia. The leukemia is lymphoid. If myeloblast is coming, it's myeloid. It's myeloid leukemia. Okay. One of the blasts is coming in the blood. Lymphoid, lymphoid blast is coming. Lymphoid leukemia. Myeloid blast is coming. Myeloid leukemia. Each of them can be acute, can be chronic, can be acute, can be chronic. So basically we have four types. Four types of leukemia. What are the four types of leukemia? Can you say? Can you say the name? Say acute lymphoblastic leukemia, ALL. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia, CLL. Okay. Acute myeloid leukemia and chronic Milo, um, myeloid leukemia. So you can see ALL, CLL, AML and CML. How many of you got it? These two are myeloid in origin and these two are lymphoid in origin. So total four leukemias are there in our syllabus. We will compare them one by one. No, it is not always I am saying that Saeed, Bisma Saeed is saying that lymphoma is always after leukemia. No, it's not necessary. Sometimes the blast originate in the solid organ. So lymphoma is the first thing happening and it will spill over in the blood leading to the leukemia. It is not necessary that leukemia give rise to lymphoma. Sometimes lymphoma can also give rise to leukemia and sometimes they are de novo. Only leukemia is there or only lymphoma is there. It is not necessary that they are occurring together. My point is that in leukemia, it's a blood cancer. You will not find any discrete mass in any organ. But in lymphomas, you will find the discrete masses in various solid organs. So lymphoma is a tumor of solid organ, but leukemia is a cancer of the blood. How many of you got it? You got it, Bisma? You got it? Okay. There can be other reasons also for the lymphoma. So I will take one session on the complete lymphomas. So I will schedule all lymphomas in one uh, shot because many students after the session have demanded that ma'am, uh, after leukemias, we want one session on lymphomas also. Hodgkin's lymphoma as well as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. All lymphoma in one shot. I'm going to schedule it. Do you want it? If you want it, we will schedule it soon. Okay, very soon we will schedule it. So let's continue with the leukemias right now. Okay, so this is the classification of the leukemias. You can see leukemias is of two types, lymphoid and myeloid. Here lymphoblast is coming and here myeloblast is coming in the blood. Each of them can be of two, two types, acute chronic, acute chronic. So finally, we are having four types, ALL, CLL, AML and CML. These two are myeloid. You can see myeloid. And these two are lymphoid. So these are the four types. What are acute and chronic? In acute, in acute leukemia, whether it is myeloid or whether it is lymphoid, the blast are coming. Either myeloblast is coming or lymphoblast is coming. How much blast is coming? So I told you now this is the myeloblast. Normally in the bone marrow, in the bone marrow, this is a myeloblast. This is a lymphoblast. The blast are less than 5%. Normally in a healthy adult human being, the blast are less than 5%. Now due to mutation, either myeloblast is doing uncontrolled mitosis or due to mutation, lymphoblast is doing uh, uncontrolled mitosis. So if their percentage become more than 20% of all the cells, more than 20%, if each of them can be more than of 20%, it is known as acute leukemia. So the definition, the WHO criteria for leukemia is blast more than 20%. You may be asking ma'am, which blast? It can be myeloblast or it can be lymphoblast. Each, any of them. So if myeloblast is more than 20%, I will call it AML. Acute myeloid leukemia. If lymphoblast is more than 20%, I will call it ALL. So this is the definition of the acute leukemia. Please learn it by heart. How many of you got it? So this is the WHO criteria. WHO criteria is more than 20% and FAB criteria. You know, there are two different organizations, WHO and French, American, British. 
so both of them now some some people follow this classification some follow so who has given a cutoff of 20 percent if the blast in the marrow is more than 20 percent it is known as acute leukemia if the blast is more than 30 percent it is known as acute leukemia this is according to fab so according to who the cutoff is 20 percent and according to fab french american british it is 30 percent so anyone can be asked in your exam so two different bodies have given two different cutoff okay so usually we we consider the who so please according to who the criteria for the acute leukemia is 20 percent blast minimum 20 percent more than 20 percent okay normally it is less than five percent how many of you got it got it so this is the definition of acute leukemia i taught you two definition acute myeloid leukemia that is myeloblast are more than 20 percent and acute lymphoid leukemia that is lymphoblast are more than 20 percent got it so that is the thing chronic leukemia may in chronic leukemia blast may come but basically the later precursors come in the blood so there is no cutoff in the chronic leukemias and each of them can be myeloid lymphoid myeloid lymphoid so aml is acute myeloblastic leukemia ALL is acute lymphoblastic leukemia, CML is chronic myeloid leukemia and CLL is chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So that is the thing we got it. So ultimately the thing is which blast is coming in the blood. So you should be able to differentiate what is coming in the blood. Is it myeloblast or lymphoblast? Both of them look differently. So you should be aware of the morphology. How does myeloblast look and how does the lymphoblast look? You must be aware of that. How does myeloblast look and how does lymphoblast look? You should be aware of that. Got it? So you should be aware of the morphology of both of them. Got it? Myeloblast is little bit larger and lymphoblast is little bit smaller. You can see in the diagram itself. Don't learn, see in the diagram. Here the cytoplasm is moderate. You can see moderate amount of cytoplasm. You can appreciate, but hardly any cytoplasm. You can see a peripheral rim, small rim of cytoplasm. It's smaller with no cytoplasm or scanty cytoplasm. The most important difference here is the iron rod. Here iron rods are may be present. Not always, but you can find the iron rods. Here iron rods are always absent. Iron rod is a red color rod-like thing, which is a concentrate of the granules. The granules are aggregating and forming a rod-like material, which is known as iron rod. So iron rod is present in myeloblast. They are not present in lymphoblast. Please learn. Iron rod is the biggest difference you can see. Okay got my point got my point so that is the thing you can see here so that is the classification now we have four type of leukemia to be covered now so i request all my dear students to take out your notebooks to take out your pen and make this comparative table with me i will teach you four leukemias one by one in a fixed set of headings i will start with cml okay then i will teach you aml so myeloid will be done first we will deal with the myeloid these two are myeloid leukemias then we will come on the lymphoid ones in the lymphoid one first i will teach you acute and then chronic so sequence is this because I want to compare these two, the acute versions of the two together. That's why first I'm telling you the myeloid one, first chronic, then acute, and then the lymphoid one, first acute, then chronic. So this will be my sequence because I want to compare these two back to back. That's why I'm telling you this sequence. Now in each of them, first I will let you know the definition of each of them. You should understand age group is very different. So you know, you get MCQs and you will get the age. So reading the age only in your question will give you, you know, a differential diagnosis. They are talking about which type of leukemia. So you have to concentrate on the age. Age is always important. The most important is the mutation. Which exact mutation is there? In each of them, you have to learn the mutations. Then classification if applicable. So I will tell you the FAP classification here and here. AML and ALL, the FAP classification you have to learn, French, American, British classification. Clinical features you have to understand, lab diagnosis, you get many questions on that. Treatment part I will deal here only, the medicine part also and the prognostic factors. You get many MCQs on prognosis, believe me. And not only this, in the end, we are going to compare all. Okay, got my point. We are going to compare all put together at one place in one shot so that the thing will be oversimplified so if you make this table with me it will be useful for you that after the session you can revise all the leukemias in just five minutes by looking at this table i can guarantee you all your mcqs can be cracked from this table take my challenge okay so let me summarize it and it will be given in the notes also after the session i'm going to provide you the pdf if you don't want to make this table it's okay it will be provided in the pdf so it's your choice so can we go ahead can we start so let's start with the first one. Let's start with the first one, CML. Let's start with CML. Can I start? So let's start with CML, the first one. So what is the definition of CML? Let's start with the introduction, the definition of the CML. What is CML? There are four criteria. If any human being, any adult person, achha, what is the normal WBC count? In our blood, we have RBCs, 
we have platelet and we have WBC. This is the normal three cells present in the blood. Tell me the normal count of all three. Normal, adult human being, normal. So RBCs are 4.5 to 5.5 million per microliter or per deciliter. Okay, platelet is 4 to 5, 4 to 5 lakh, not million, lakh per deciliter. WBCs are 4,000 to 11,000 per deciliter. Now see, see the normal range. The WBCs are in 1,000, 4 to 11. The platelets are in lakh, okay, 4 to 5 lakh. And I'm sorry, not 4 to 5, you can say 1.5 to uh, 4 lakh. 1.5 to 4 lakh, I'm sorry. And here, the RBCs are 4.5 to 5.5 million per deciliter. So that is per deciliter, you can see. Now, I'm concerned with WBC right now, okay? In all the leukemias, in most of the leukemias, the WBC count will be high. That is known as leukocytosis. So imagine an adult human being in which the WBCs are, the WBC count is high. The WBC count is high. It is usually, normally it is 4,000 to 11,000, as I told you, 4,000 to 11,000. Here it will be nearly 2 lakh. WBCs are 2 lakh. Imagine 11,000 is the highest limit. Here it is in lakh. 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh like that. So it is high. It is high. But these are not mature. These are the immature ones. Not the mature. Mature neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, monocyte. They are very less in number. Very less. But their precursors are more. Okay. So that is the first criteria. That is the first criteria. So in total count, total leukocyte count, TLC, the count is high. And in DLC, you will find these are immaturities. These are not the mature one. The first criteria. Basophils are too high. The splenomegaly is there. The patient's spleen is enlarged. And Philadelphia chromosome is positive in 95% of the patient. Philadelphia positive. What is Philadelphia? I will tell you. So learn the four criteria of CML. So introduction may, I'm sorry. Introduction may write down the four criteria. The four criteria of CML. You should know the four criteria. You get a question on the criteria also. So there are four criteria. What are the four criteria? Number one, WBC count is high. Leukocytosis with immaturities. With immaturity is the first, foremost, most important criteria. Out of which basophils are there. Basophils are really high. Number three, spleen is enlarged. Splenomegaly is there. Number three. And number four, Philadelphia chromosome is positive. I will tell you what is it. Wait a while. Okay, that is the fourth criteria. What about the age? It occurs in middle age or old age after 50 years. Usually after 50 years. Usually. So you will get a question. There is a 50 year, 55 year, 60 year, male, female, whatever like that. So middle to old age. So it is after 50 years. Now coming on the pathogenesis. Look at here. Everyone here on the screen. I am teaching you CML. I am teaching you the pathogenesis of CML. So it is a leukemia arising from the myeloid origin. So here the problem here in this precursor will be there. The problem is not there in the lymphoid precursor. The problem will be in the myeloid precursor that we got it. Okay, we got that. Now, what are the myeloid precursor? We have five precursors. We have myeloblast, promyelocyte, myelocyte, metamyelocyte, band form and neutrophil. These are the cells. You can see these are the cells. These all cells have the nucleus. And inside the nucleus, they have the DNA. Now, because of physical, chemical or biological agents, they got mutated. They all got mutated. They all got mutated. Now tell me this is a human cell. Any human cell. This can be any human cell. Okay. This is the nucleus of the human cell. How many chromosomes we have? We all know that we all have diploid cells. That is 46 chromosome. Say yes or no. Instead of saying 46 chromosome, why don't you say 23 pairs? 23 pairs is a better thing to say. So this is pair number 1, pair number 2, pair number 3, pair number 4, 5. Likewise, 23 pairs are here. I am not interested in all pairs. I am interested in two pairs. Pair number 9 and 22. So on the next page, I am drawing two pairs. Okay. So let's draw a cell. Okay. Let's draw the nucleus of the cell. Inside the nucleus, I am drawing only two pairs. This is pair number 9. And this is pair number 22. I am interested in two. Which two? This is 9. This is 22. Okay. You will say, ma'am, which cell is it? Which cell? It can be one of the five cells. I don't know. It can be myeloblast. It can be promyelocyte. It can be myelocyte. It can be metamyelocyte. It can be band form. The mutation is occurring in all five. In all five. The five precursors of the myeloid series. Okay. So listen what is happening. Normally in me, in you, in all the adults, human beings, healthy human beings, on chromosome number nine, there is a gene. The name of that gene is ABL. That is a gene. That is normal. It is present in me, you, everyone. The name of that gene is ABL gene. We all have that. It's normal. So it is doing its normal um, function. The normal function is mitosis but under control. 
So whenever the growth factor is coming, then only the cell is dividing, otherwise cell is not dividing the, because of ABL. On 22, we have another gene. The name of that gene is BCR. We also have it, have it. I have, you have, we all have it. It is also a normal gene. So again, here, it also helps in mitosis. This also helps in mitosis. This also helps in mitosis, but mitosis is under control. So whenever the growth factor will come, then only they will do the mitosis. Otherwise, they will not do the mitosis. Now, due to physical, chemical or biological agents, there is translocation. What is translocation? A portion of the two chromosomes, they will exchange with each other. So here, 9 will give this portion to 22 which contain the ABL. So ABL, which is normally present in 9, it is going to 22. It is going to 22. So ABL will reach here. ABL will reach here and it will fuse with BCR. BCR is already present on 22. So ABL will fuse with BCR. Say yes. ABL will be fusing with BCR. So a new gene is formed, the fusion gene. It is known as fusion gene. ABL-BCR fusion gene or ABL-BCR hybrid gene fusion or hybrid gene that will lead to uncontrolled mitosis not the cell is cancer cell because of this deadly gene this deadly gene the fusion gene or hybrid gene it will form an abnormal uh, enzyme the name of that enzyme is tyrosine kinase tyrosine kinase abnormal tyrosine kinase that will do the uncontrolled mitosis this cell go on dividing go on dividing from 1 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 16 16 to 32 32 to 64 so on and they will be spilled in the blood so all these cells will be spilled in the blood Got my point? Normally, they are not present in bread. They are present in marrow. But they will replicate, replicate. They will do the mitosis. They will fill the marrow. They will replace all other cells in the marrow. And after filling the marrow completely, they will be spilled in the blood. Got my point? This is CML. You, will, you should be thinking, ma'am, that you said that it's translocation. Translocation is balanced here. So here, 9 is giving ABL to 22. What 22 is giving to 9? 22 is giving to 9 a portion of chromosome which don't contain any important gene which don't contain any important gene. So that portion is given to 9. So basically the fusion is formed on 22, the fusion gene. That's why chromosome number 22 is known as Philadelphia chromosome. Philadelphia chromosome. This chromosome is known as Philadelphia chromosome because the fusion gene is formed here. Got my point? How many of you got it? So this is the fusion gene which is formed on 22. So on chromosome number 22, in a patient with CML, we get a gene that is a hybrid gene of fusion gene, where the two genes are fusing with each other, ABL and BCR. Normal adults don't have this fusion gene. I'm having ABL, but my ABL is on 9. I'm having 20 um, BCR, but it's on my 22. I don't have ABL, BCR fusion. The patients with CML have that. How many of you got it? That will lead to abnormal tyrosine kinase and that will lead to uncontrolled mitosis. Now, what if I want to treat this patient? Let me tell you the treatment here only. I want to treat this patient. So basically, I will give targeted therapy. The name of that targeted therapy is imitinib. Have you heard the name? Imitinib. Imitinib have a special role because it is the first targeted therapy in the discovered in the world. There are many targeted therapies now available for the cancers, but it is one of the first you know, it is the first targeted therapy which was discovered. Okay, so timetinib is the name of the drug. The most important thing is the oral tablet. It is available in oral form. So patient has to take one tablet da daily. Patient don't have to hospitalize, go to the hospital and take long chemotherapy. No, no. It's a chemotherapy only, but the patient will take in the form of the tablet. Easy to take. The route of administration is easy. So patient has to take one tablet daily. Okay, and what does this imitinib will do? Imitinib will do the apoptosis of all those cells in the bone marrow, which is having this fusion gene. All those cells will undergo apoptosis, apoptosis and imitinib will inhibit the abnormal tyrosine kinase. So imitinib will control CML. After the discovery of imitinib, the prognosis of CML is very good, very good. Hardly any patient have any adverse effect or any poor prognosis, okay, because of the discovery of imitinib. Before that, we used to do bone marrow transplant and other chemotherapy drugs. That is not very successful. But imitinib is a real game changer in case of CML. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? Say yes or say no. Say something but. Respond, people. Respond. It's a live session. Keep interacting. Got it? Got it? Can we go ahead? So this is the complete story for CML. So tell me what is happening. Say, ma'am, we understood this master diagram. Now, in this diagram, only I will teach you four leukemias. Please understand. I taught you the first one, the pathogenesis of the first one. You tell me what is happening in the first one. Say, ma'am, in these five cells, can you enumerate the five cells? Say, ma'am, myeloblast, promyelocyte, myelocyte, metamyelocyte, and band form. In these five cells, 922 translocation is taking place. 922. We write it like this. 9, semicolon. 22 and we make a small bracket and we write down a small t it's a conventional we write like this only it means that there is an exchange between 9 and 22 
so that is the translocation balance translocation or instead of that you can write down the name of the gene itself on 9 is the number of the chromosome 20 is the number of chromosome on that name the gene so you can say abl bcr translocation it is also good to say abl bcr one and the same thing whether you say 922 or whether you say abl bcr the meaning is the same got it so basically in these five cells this is happening 922 translocation or abl bcr translocation because of that they all five are doing uncontrolled mitosis because abnormal tyrosine kinase is formed in all five so these five are doing uncontrolled mitosis because of the uncontrolled mitosis these five are spilled in the blood so these five are coming in the blood so myeloblast in the blood what what is coming myeloblast promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte and band form along with a little bit mature form neutrophil eosinophil basophil and monocyte but they are very less maximum of them are immature form so if you take the blood sample of this patient in a test tube what do you find what do you find you will find maximum at WBC. WBC are nearly 2 lakh or 3 lakh. But you see, they are not the mature one. Maximum of them are immature ones. Maximum of them are immature ones. How many have you got it? So what is the, um, what is the uh, function of WBC? Why God has provided us with WBC? So when WBC does the defense. They are like army. The God has provided us the army. So you may be thinking normally, how much army I am having? I am having 4,000 to 11,000 soldiers in my army. How many soldiers I am having? An adult human being, healthy human being have 4,000 to 11,000 soldiers in the army. Here, the person is having 2 lakh soldiers in the army. You assume the person will be super immune. No, no, no. These are, these are immature ones. These are not mature soldiers. These are not mature forms. These are immature ones. So, person is prone to infection. You see, ma'am, the two things are contradictory. Yes, it is a paradox. Although the person is having high WBC count, still the person is having high susceptibility of infection you will see how the two things together you are saying high wbc count still person is high susceptibility of infection yes the answer is immaturity they are high but they are immature they don't do their function properly so that's why the person is having high susceptibility of infection all leukemia patients have high susceptibility of infections got it soon i will cover mpn and nds also ayush definitely i will cover one by one we will cover okay can we go ahead how many of you got it okay so the same thing is shown to you normally abl is present on 9 and bcr gene is present on 22 okay let me show you this side concentrate on this side this is normal don't see the translocation right now see the uh, left hand side first see this is a pair of 9 you can see the two chromosome and this is a pair of 22 see the two chromosome i want to highlight the 1 1 gene on each of them i want to highlight 9 have abl concentrate and 22 have bcr so it's normal they are doing their responsibility normally they are doing their function normally abl on 9 bcr on 22 everything was good to go everything was good to go but now because of translocation you can see what is happening see 9 abl is going on 22 on which bcr is already there now you can see on the 22 what is happening on the 22 there is a fusion gene is formed can you appreciate the fusion gene or hybrid gene because bcr was already there and abl is also coming and this is deadly that will lead to uncontrolled mitosis in exchange of that the 22 is giving a portion to 9 that don't contain any important gene so this is translocation how many of you got it how many of you got it so what is happening in translocation so if you are going to write in your exam now like if you have theory exam write on in the form of the flowchart and if you have to solve mcq it will be easy to solve now abl is present on 9 normally it got translocated to 22 on 22 we already have bcr so abl bcr hybrid gene is formed that is known as philadelphia chromosome so 22 is philadelphia not 9 it's a very important mcq it's a very important mcq and that will lead to abnormal tyrosine kinase that will lead to uncontrolled mitosis and that will lead to cml so this is the complete story of cml okay so in cml all these cells are doing uncontrolled mitosis and because they are doing uncontrolled the five cells myeloblast promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte and band form they are doing uncontrolled mitosis so they are replacing everything else on the marrow everything else in the marrow they are replacing once the marrow is full 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 they are spilled in the blood they are spilled i'm using the word spillage they are spillage they are spilled in the blood so in the blood also you get all five you will get you will get myeloblast promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte band form and along with the few mature versions neutrophil eosinophil basophil and monocyte you will get all this in the blood all this in the blood so if you make a slide if you take a slide and make a smear 
if you make a smear of the blood sample here if you make a peripheral smear you will get all these cells she will get all these cells it is typically known as garden party garden party have you ever visited a garden party garden party everyone is in a different dress it's not school uniform in school uniform everyone is in a same uniform the same dress the same dress code in a garden party everyone is in different beautiful dresses so we are getting different type of cells so this typical appearance of cml is known as garden party appearance it's a way to remember it's a way to learn okay uh sachi i'm coming on this 210 kilo dalton intentionally i have skipped it let me tell you when i will teach you the aml i will teach you this because in aml also there will be 922 translocation but the size of that fusion gene will be different there it will be 180 here it is 210 i will help you learning there okay got it can we go ahead if you got it okay so as i told you all these cells are coming in blood but the most important is blast which blast myeloblast based on the blast there are three phases in cml there can be chronic phase accelerated phase or blast phase you can learn the mnemonic cab chronic accelerated blast cab cab there is chronic phase there is accelerated phase and there is blast phase so how much myeloblast if myeloblast is 10 less than 10 percent it's chronic 10 to 20 percent it's accelerated and more than 20 it's blast phase so in blast phase patient is highly symptomatic how many of you got it so ba based on that we give the uh based on the blast percentage we give the phase in which phase of uh cml uh the patient is it is a triphasic leukemia we can see it's a it's a leukemia which is triphasic so that is the pathogenesis how many of you got it give me a thumbs up if you got the pathogenesis what is happening everyone got it what is exactly happening in the cml cml is a leukemia so cml is a blood cancer the people the students the audience who can understand this master diagram can understand everything so that start from the basic if you have missed the initial of this uh, lecture now please go and first watch the initial lecture first understand how the diseases are formed got it then only you can understand this so basically in cml the precursors of the myeloid series that is these five precursors they have mutation in them so name the mutation CMM 922 translocation or ABL BCR translocation. Because of this translocation, they become cancerous cells and they are doing uncontrolled mitosis and they all are spilled in the blood. So, in the blood, all five are present and that is CML. We got the pathogenesis with this pathogenesis coming on the clinical feature. Now, clinical feature are due to bone marrow failure. I'm saying, now you understand this diagram also. I have explained you at the beginning of the lecture. In the bone marrow, RBCs are also formed, platelets are also formed, and you know, myeloblast is also formed from the common myeloid progenitor. Common myeloid progenitor, RBC, WBC, platelet, they all are forming. Now, I am saying there is mutation in the myeloblast. So, myeloblast and their, their precursors are doing uncontrolled mitosis. So, they replace everything else. They replace everything else. They replace the RBC also, RBC and their precursors also, erythroid precursor. And they replace the platelet or megakaryocyte precursors also. So, patients have anemia because RBCs are not formed. Patient have thrombocytopenia because platelets are not formed. Because it is replaced by the myeloblast. Myeloblast and their precursors, the five cells. Which five cells? Myeloblast, promyelocyte, myelocyte, metamyelocyte and band form. They are doing uncontrolled mitosis. So, the complete marrow is filled with these five cells. And all other cells are replaced. So no RBCs are formed or very few RBCs are formed. No platelet are formed or very few, few platelets. So patient have anemia. So patient will come to you, doctor, I'm having lethargy, pallor, fatigue, you know, lack of energy, dyspnea because of the anemia. Patient have multiple bleeding disorders. Like patients have bruises, patechi, bleeding from the gums, bleeding from the nose, it is Texas, bleeding from the ears or internal bleeding. Like, so because of thrombocytopenia. Okay, and you will see my WBCs are too high. But still patient is highly prone to infection because I agree, WBCs are too high. Instead of 11,000, they are 2-3 lakhs. I agree, I totally agree. But they are immature. So they will not do their function. So person is having anemia, bleeding disorder and infection. So technically the person is presenting like pancytopenia. Although RBCs are less. Okay, platelet are also less. Okay, but WBC are not less. In pancytopenia, WBC are too high here. So because RBCs are less, patients have anemia. Because platelet are less, patients have thrombocytopenia or bleeding disorders. But WBC are high. Still patients have high propensity or susceptibility for infection because of the immature forms. Okay, apart from that, there is hypermetabolism. The cells are formed more. They are 
they are uh, like you know they, they will be dead more so there is weight loss night sweats anorexia and spinomegaly is massive all these cells will go the immature cells which are there in the marrow uh they are spilled in the blood they will go in the spleen then they are trapped in the spleen so patient presents with a massive spleenomegaly you got my point so this is a blood vessel okay this is a blood vessel in the blood vessel normally 4000 to 11000 wbcs are present but now there are 2 lakh wbcs are present so via blood they all will be moving to the spleen and they are trapped in the spleen and that's why the spleen will be enlarged and that is spleenomegaly this is the reason for hyperspleenomegaly so please understand everything don't mug up please understand everything now coming on the lab diagnosis of cml in the lab diagnosis not only of cml of all leukemias there is a fixed format so i will tell you the lab diagnosis in these headings only first tell me what will be the change take the blood sample of the patient aspirate the marrow take the bone marrow biopsy as well as bone marrow aspirate do the cytogenetics by doing karyotyping okay do the cytochemistry that is the special strain Special stain. Cytochemistry means special stain. Cytogenetics means karyotyping. You are doing the karyotyping, the genetics, the molecular studies, and others are not important. So blood, blood study, bone marrow study, genetic study, and special stain. By these four things, we will do the diagnosis of all leukemias. How many of you got it? How many of you got it? Okay. So in the blood, we'll see three things. What happened to hemoglobin? Obviously, hemoglobin will be less because RBCs are less. Because the RBCs and platelets are replaced by the immature WBCs. So that's why less hemoglobin, less platelet, but WBC will be too high. I know. So patient have anemia, RBCs are less, hemoglobin is less. Patient have thrombocytopenia, the platelets are less, patient have bleeding. And WBCs are nearly 2 lakh. Instead of 11,000, it's 2 lakh. But, 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 add a but here. They all are immature forms. You can see the diagram. See, see the diagram. How many type of cells you can see? In this diagram, I can appreciate this is an eosinophil because it is having red granules. This is a basophil because it is having the bluish granules. And this is the neutrophil. The adult, the mature neutrophil, I can see the multilobated nucleus with the pink, pink granules. This is a band form. This is a promyelocyte. This is a metamyelocyte likewise. So I'm getting an abundant of cells. I know. So I'm getting all these five cells in the blood along with the neutrophil eosinophil basophil so this is the diagram you can see this one you can see this one so appreciate you are getting basophil you are getting eosinophil you are getting neutrophil you are getting all other cells also the band forms are usually you can identify they are c-shaped the nucleus is c-shaped the c-shaped are the band forms you can see these all so you can how many cells you can see say ma'am i can see promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte band form basophil neutrophil eosinophil and the myeloblast the most important you get the myeloblast this is known as garden party appearance what does it known as people it is known as garden party what do you mean by garden party in garden party everyone is in different dress so garden party appearance typical appearance of cml never forget so out of the four leukemias i have finished one I have completed one, three more to go. In the end, you can understand the peripheral smear of all four. But currently, let's have a look of CMLs. In the CML, appreciate the word, ma'am. There are four types, five types of cells. Myeloblast, promyelocyte, myelocyte, metamyelocyte, band form, along with neutrophil, eosinophil, and basophil and monocytes. So this is garden party appearance, and you can appreciate it in the diagram. Now you will appreciate once I will cover all four and you can make out the differences. Okay, currently CML is done. So blood picture I told you, the WBC, peripheral smear also we have seen. Now coming on the bone marrow. In the bone marrow, tell me the cellularity. The cellularity, I told you what is happening in the bone marrow. In the bone marrow, the myeloblast is doing uncontrolled mitosis. So obviously cellularity is more as compared to a healthy individual. Uh, the, myelo the myeloid cells will be more. The other cells are not more. So erythroid cells are less, megakaryocytes are less, and overall myeloid cells are more. Out of the three, myeloid are abundant. Erythroid and megakaryocyte are less. So that is the bone marrow. Obviously, you can understand it. So we have seen the blood picture. We have seen the bone marrow picture. Now see the genetics. If you see the genetics, you will typically get 922 translocation. You will get it. And this is a confirmatory diagnosis, but it's very expensive. But if it is done, it is confirmatory diagnosis. So we can confirm it via cytogenetic karyotyping 922 translocation. Cytochemistry is a special stain. It's a type of stain. It's a special stain. It's a special stain. Okay, what is the special stain here we use? The name of the stain is neutrophil alkaline phosphatase NAP. Or also known as neutrophil is a type of leukocyte. No? Leukocyte is WBC. It is known as leukocyte alkaline phosphatase LAP. So whether you say NAP or whether you say LAP, the meaning is the same. What do you mean by NAP or LAP? 
न्यूट्रोपल अल्कलाइन फॉस्फेटेज और न्यूट्रोपल इज अ टाइप ऑफ ल्यूकोसाइट ओनली ल्यूकोसाइट इज डब्ल्यू बीसी देर आर फाइव टाइप ऑफ डब्ल्यू बीसी सो ल्यूकोसाइट अल्कलाइन फॉस्फेटेज यू कैन व्हाट डज इट मीन व्हाट डज इट मीन इट इट इज अ स्टेन दैट विल हाईलाइट द ग्रैन्यूल्स द ग्रैन्यूल्स यू टेल मी यू टेल मी दिस इज द कंप्लीट सीरीज ओके दीस आर द दिस इज न्यूट्रोपल यू नो न्यूट्रोपल्स हैव ग्रैन्यूल्स इन द साइटोप्लाज्म यस और नो सो बट बट इट्स प्रीकर्सर्स डोंट हैव ग्रैन्यूल्स ग्रैन्यूल फॉर्मेशन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम प्रोमाइलोसाइट एंड माइलोसाइट एंड दे हैव लेस ग्रैन्यूल्स ग्रेजुअली इट इंक्रीज इंक्रीज एंड मैक्सिमम ग्रैन्यूल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन न्यूट्रोफिल मैक्सिमम ग्रैन्यूल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन न्यूट्रोफिल द प्रीकर्सर्स हैव लेस ग्रैन्यूल्स so i am saying that in cml the precursors are coming more in the blood i know the precursors are more the myeloblast promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte and band form are coming more in the blood as compared to adult neutrophil adult neutrophil is there but it's less so you tell me what happens to the nap score nap score in cml the nap score will be more as compared to normal or less as compared to normal normally the nap score is due to adult neutrophil here adult neutrophils are less so nap score will be less because the granules are less the precursor don't have granules so nap score will be less so in cml the nap score is less not more so please learn the nap score here what is nap score the nap score in cml the nap score is reduced how many of you got it how many of you got it okay say yes if you got it so this is the reason why the nap or the lap students learn it but they don't understand why the nap or lap score is reduced in cml it is not increased highlight it is reduced in cml now the most important differential diagnosis of cml we are done with the diagnosis okay we have we have seen the blood picture bone marrow picture cytogenetics and cytochemistry here the nap score is reduced we have seen that others may uric acid will be high because there are most more and more cell they are form forming and more and more cell are dying also whenever cell is burst they are dying the uric acid will be more so patient presents with gout or hyperuricemia we got it so this is the complete diagnosis now coming on differential diagnosis of cml in cml the most important differential diagnosis is leukemoid reaction what do you mean by leukemoid reaction leukemoid reaction is a condition in which if you check the wbc count in the blood it is nearly 50000 to 1 lakh it is not more than 1 lakh never it is 50000 to 1 lakh okay normally it is up to 11000 but it's not cancer it's not leukemia so sometimes you can get confused ki is it cml or is it simple leukemoid reaction leukemoid reaction is not cancer you know so whenever you know there is a human being this is the blood vessel of the human being in the blood vessel wbcs are there these are the wbcs normal count i told you it's 4000 to 11000 okay now whenever any infectious organism like the bacteria virus fungus parasite or any malignant cells or anything any foreign particle okay it is entering in the blood what happens this is the army now they will increase they will increase so instead of 4000 to 11000 they will increase 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 and they will become nearly 50000 so it's reactive it is reacting in response to ex exogenous agents okay it's not cancer here mutation doesn't happen it is leukemoid reaction leukemoid reaction happens in response to infection in response to infection sometimes the wbc count is too high but it's never more than 1 lakh it will be nearly 50000 maximum up to 1 lakh but never more than 1 lakh it will never cross 1 lakh in cml it is 2 lakh 3 lakh like that how many of you got it this one is reactive that is leukemoid reaction it is excessive leukocytosis i mean increased wbc count in the peripheral blood that resembles cml but the patient don't have cml so don't start imitinib here being a doctor don't get confused that you are doing the cbc in the cbc you got a dip wbc count as too high it is nearly 50000 60000 or 1 lakh and you cannot make the diagnosis oh my god it's cml start imitinib no 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 first do the cytogenetics confirm is it 922 translocation yes or no mutation is there yes or no then only you start the treatment otherwise don't start it can be leukemoid reaction so sometime you can get confused the blood picture is same as that of cml but here hepatomegaly splenomegaly these all are absent got my point and there is no bleeding disorder patient don't have any anemia other other things are absent it happens in response to infection or sometime in response to toxins and rarely in certain malignancies so that is known as leukemia reaction you will say ma'am how i differentiate being a doctor for example a patient is coming to me up the age of the patient is 50 years and patient is complaining that i am having very frequent infection okay and uh, i have done a cbc for certain disorder i uh, i have done a cbc in the cbc i found the wbc count is nearly 1 lakh or 50000 huh? so i can get confused ma'am is it leukemoid reaction so i will not start the chemotherapy or is it cml i will start so how should i differentiate based on the peripheral smear based on peripheral smear how uh, uh, cytogenetics definitely you can differentiate but based on based on peripheral smear how do you differentiate so listen 
so here the lab findings it it will never exceed one lakh i told you in leukemia reaction it will never exceed one lakh and in cml it is more than one lakh okay see see the differences here let me tell you in leukemia reaction versus cml you get many questions here leukemia reaction versus cml in leukemia reaction the count is 25000 to 1 lakh normal it is 4000 to 11000 never forget in cml it is more than 1 lakh nearly 2 lakh 3 lakh like that here you will get predominantly neutrophils the mature neutrophils here you will get all mature stage stages here you get only neutrophil you, here you will get promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte band form along with neutrophils not only neutrophil here basically you will get neutrophil okay here nap score is more here nap score is less because nap score will highlight the neutrophil i'm saying here neutrophil is more and i'm saying here neutrophil is less so nap score is something that differentiate the two and you get many mcqs on nap score so that is the significance of the nap score if you do the philadelphia chromosome obviously it's absent here here there is no no mutation here philadelphia is always present if you do the abl bcr fusion gene it's absent here it's present here got my point here organ infiltration is absent here also absent but sometime may be present here splenomegaly is absent here it's present i told you the reason for the splenomegaly also got my point how many of you got it how many of you got it we are done with cml finally the treatment i told you the treatment is imitinib imitinib the most important therapy for cml is imitinib and you can do for anemia you can give the symptomatic treatment like blood transfusion for thrombocytopenia the symptomatic treatment is platelet transfusion before imitinib we used to do bone marrow transplant but nowadays we don't you do bone marrow transplant because imitinib is available we hardly or barely do it how many of you got it how many of you got it huh and finally the prognostic factors i'm coming on your doubts wait so finally coming on the prognostic factors of cml we have two index SOCAL index and health four index to see the prognosis in them the four four things are common don't learn them the fifth criteria is different here we see the cytogenetics here we see the basophils basically you don't get any much mcqs on the prognosis of cml but you have to read it the two type of the systems we are done how many of you got it i'm done with cml i taught you everything about cml in the similar way we are going to cover aml all and CLL right now. Now the remaining three will be little bit faster because you already have an idea now. This was the first one. I took time. I agree it took time, but it was worth giving the time because the re remaining three will be really very fast. How many of you got it? Huh? So the NAP or the lab score. Okay. Listen, tell me the precursors who is asking. Tell me the precursors. Someone is asking to repeat the NAP score or the lab score. Say the full form. What is NAP score or lab score? It is neutrophil alkaline phosphatase and neutrophil is one of the leukocytes only. No? So also known as leukocyte alkaline phosphatase. So basically, tell me the precursors. We have hematopoietic stem cell. It gives rise to myeloblast, promyelocyte, myelocyte, metamyelocyte, band form and finally neutrophil. Let me draw these cells to explain. So this is a cell of myeloblast. This is promyelocyte, then myelocyte, then metamyelocyte band form is c-shaped and finally neutrophil is multilobated like this now let me draw the granules inside them i'm interested in granules basically to explain you the nap score so maximum granules are present in the neutrophil a little bit in the band form very little in the meta metamyelocyte and hardly no granules here granules so nap or lab score is something it is neutrophil alkaline so it is an alkaline phosphatase alkaline phosphatase is a component of granules so you tell me which cell it will stain it will stain this cell maximum a little bit of this a little bit of cell and it will not stain these one now you tell me what is happening in the leukemoid reaction in leukemoid reaction neutrophils are increasing in the blood up to one lakh not more than that so lab score will be high what is happening in cml in cml these cells are increasing not the neutrophils so their nap score is less so in cml the nap score is less and in leukemoid it is more who was asking give me a thumbs up you got it or you didn't got it the concept should be crystal clear to you got it i will cover all the topics i will cover autocoids also okay okay definitely i will cover the anti-cancer pharmacology also muhammad okay what else so whatever topics you want now write down in the chat i'm having an eye there and definitely i will schedule them one by one okay so there's a fixed schedule protocol in which we are going to schedule all these sessions one by one based on the demands of the student so the student which who are demanding a topic more we are scheduling that prior but definitely we are going to schedule all of them one by one everyone got it can we go ahead and we go ahead let's solve some mcqs on cml and come on the next leukemia so the first question is in front of you write down your answer in the chat box right now read the question and tell me the answer quick fast shallow quick fast tell me the answer hmm? what causes is i already told you ayush listen so this is the blood vessel 
in the blood normal count of wbc is 4000 to 11000 but in cml instead of 4000 to 11000 it is 2 lakh so imagine 2 lakhs of wbcs are there they all will move to the spleen they will move to the spleen and spleen will trap them because high cells are there and spleen will enlarge so massive splenomegaly this is the reason i hope you got it read the question tell me the answer a uh, bcr abl hybrid gene is present in which leukemia obviously the question is very easy is it burkitt lymphoma retinoblastoma breast cancer or cml i guess the question is super simple of course the answer is cml so i'm not waiting i guess everyone yes yes correct answer is d and you all are right you can see abl bcr fusion on the philadelphia 22 chromosome read the next question it's a clinical case so we will read it understand it and then come on the answer listen listen there is a 60 year old man age is always important people age is always important 60 year old okay there is an old man presented with fatigue fatigue means patient have anemia weight loss weight loss means patient have hypermetabolism and uh, the hemoglobin is 10 so of course the patient is anemic the wbc count is 5 lakh oh come on 5 lakh normal is 11,000. it's 5 lakh so definitely it's a case of leukemia platelet count is 4 lakh which is normal 1.5 to 4 lakh is normal okay now coming on the dlc in the dlc neutrophils are 55 percent lymphocytes are 4 percent monocyte are 2 percent basophils are 6 percent which is more but there is metamylocyte myelocyte promyelocyte and blast also normally they are not present in blood so of course it's a typical case of cml and if it is cml what is the correct answer you can read the four mutations of course in cml the most important mutation the only mutation is 922 translocation that is philadelphia chromosome so based on that first make the diagnosis of cml and based on that come on the translocation i hope you all are right the correct answer is 922 this is the clinical scenario and this is the approach for that okay now coming on the next question easy question chromosomal translocation in cml i guess everyone know is it 28 814, 922 or 1517? What is the correct answer? Of course, the correct answer is 922. We have seen here 922. If I change from CML to AML, answer will become D. I will tell you in AML also, especially AML M3 type. I will come on that. Okay. Now coming on the next question. A peripheral smear is having neutrophil. Neutrophil we all have. There is nothing important in that. Basophil we all have that. Eosinophil we all have that. But we don't have myeloblast promyelocyte and band form in the peripheral smear we have these cells in our bone marrow but if you check my peripheral smear i don't have it okay so if these are present in the blood what does it mean is it mean aml all cml or mds what does it mean of course it is a garden party appearance multiple type of cells in peripheral smear it is known as cml so correct answer is c and you all are right you all are right absolutely right absolutely right okay so let's move ahead CML is characterized by all except what do not happen in CML. Tell me. Leukocytosis, yes or no? Leukocytosis, yes or no? Leukocytosis means increased WBC count. Yes, yes, the WBC count is 2 lakh, 3 lakh, 4 lakh. Yes. Thrombocytopenia, yes, the platelet will fall. This is also right. Splenomegaly, yes, splenomegaly also occur. But is it increased LAP or increased NAP? No, 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 no. LAP or NAP is decreased, not increased. Increased LAP or NAP occurs in leukemoid reaction, not in CML. So correct answer here is C because it doesn't happen. They are asking except you can see the lap or the NAP score is something that differentiate the leukemoid reaction from CM. You have to learn that. Okay, you have to learn that. Tell me the next thing. The difference between leukemia and leukemoid reaction is done by what? I want to differentiate the CML from the leukemoid reaction. How to differentiate? Is it leukocyte alkaline phosphatase? Is it immature cell? Is it total count or is it ESR? Total WBC count is raised in both of them. ESR we can't uh, do ESR based on ESR we can immature cells basically immature cells are more common in leukemia but sometimes they are present in leukemia reaction also so the best to differentiate is the lab score lab score is high in leukemoid reaction and lab score are low in CML so lab scores are important so we are done with CML I hope you know the definition age mutation the three phases clinical feature lab diagnosis treatment and prognosis of the CML can I skip and come on the next one AML can I start the AML? Give me a thumbs up. Are you full of energy still? Huh? Can we continue the next leukemias with the same energy? With the same enthusiasm? Yes? Give me a thumbs up. Let's start AML. So coming on the next one, AML. Okay. So let's start the next one, AML. Acute myeloid leukemia, AML. 
So what is happening here? Listen, listen, people come here. The first thing, look at the age. The CML was occurring after 50 years. Usually, exceptions are always there. AML usually occur 15 to 40 years, not in old age. AML do not occur in old age usually, but exceptions are there. I told you exceptions are there. Okay, got it. So here, usually, we get the AML between 15 to 40 years. Now, see that what is the difference in pathogenesis? Everyone on the screen. What was happening in CML? So, in CML, these five cells have the mutation. Which mutation? It was 922 translocation because of which these five were moving in the blood. So, in the blood, we were having all five. Myeloblast, promyelocyte, myelocyte, metamyelocyte and band form including myeloblast also but all five are there and the neutrophil eosinophil basophil monocyte they all are there they all are present here got it say yes or no so they all are present in the blood that is garden party appearance okay that was cml cml what is happening in aml mutation occurs only only in myeloblast that's it that's it none other cell which mutation i will tell you mutation will be different there are different type of AML in which different type of mutations are there. Here the translocation is 15, 17, either 15, 17 or translocation between 8, 21, not 9, 22. Or there is inversion 16. The 16, there is a gene in the 16 which get splitted and inverted. So inversion 16, inversion 16. So either 15, 17, 8, 21 or inversion 16. One of the mutation usually occurs here only in myeloblast. So in the blood only myeloblast is coming, not others. Only myeloblast is coming. So, school uniform appearance. That is AML. How many of you got it? How many of you got it? Say yes if you got it. Hmm? So, in AML, only myeloblast is mutated. And that is doing uncontrolled mitosis. So, that is filling the marrow completely and spills over in the blood. So, here if you take the blood sample and make a smear, in the smear you will get only one type of cell that is myeloblast. There are eight types of AML based on fat classification. We don't have fat classification for CML. In the CML, we were having three phases. Chronic phase, accelerated phase and last phase, if you remember. Here, we don't have phases. We have fat classification. The French, American, British classification based on which there are eight types, including M0. So, M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7. There are eight types of AML. You have to learn their names. Sometimes, you will get the names in the options. So, you don't recognize is it M1, M2, M3. So, you have to understand that. M0 is minimally differentiated AML. Minimally differentiated AML. M1 is AML without maturation. M2 is AML with maturation. Learn these three. Minimally differentiated without maturation with maturation. Now, after that, I'm having a way to learn that. M3 is promyelocytic leukemia. Promyelocytic, this is myelo. Just a second. This is learned as PM, promyelocytic. This is myelomonocytic and this is monocytic. This is erythrocytic and this is megakaryocytic. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So, we are having total eight types. M0, M1, M2. M3, M4, M5, M6, and M7. How to learn that? So, AML with minimal differentiation. Minimal differentiation. Without maturation, with maturation. We have learned this. Okay. Now, how to learn? M3 is promyelocytic. Acute promyelocytic leukemia. M4 is myelomonocytic. This was promyelocytic. This is myelomonocytic. Acute myelomonocytic leukemia. M5 is monocytic. Only monocytic. So acute monocytic leukemia. Then M6 is erythrocytic. Acute erythrocytic leukemia. And M7 is megakaryocytic. So acute megakaryocytic leukemia. How many of you got it? So you can read the word. Promyelocytic, myelomonocytic, monocytic, erythrocytic and megakaryocytic leukemia. Acute in leukemia you can add any time. Say yes. Out of which there is a special type that is M3. In M3, there is always DIC. Disseminated intravascular coagulation DIC is there. Okay. So, I will tell you the special, special points in all seven, all eight, one by one. Uh, all of them are MPO positive. MPO is a special stain. I will tell you what is MPO. But here, this one is MPO negative. Only this one is MPO negative. Rest all are MPO positive. What is MPO? I will tell you later. on. It is, it is a type of special stain. Okay. Myeloperoxidase. Myeloperoxidase stain is there. Okay. M1, nothing important. M2, in M2 there is 821 translocation. And maximum chances of chloroma. I will tell you what is chloroma. Okay, in M3, 15, 17 translocation is there. And maximum IO rods are seen in M3. And in M3, DIC is also there. In M4, inversion 16 translocation is there. In M5, 9, 11 translocation is there. So something, something special in each of them. Out of them, the least common type is M7. And the most common type is M2. So you have to learn these special points. Most common type is M2 and least common type and the worst prognosis of all is M7. 
एम सेवन इज द वर्स वन ओके एंड इट इज प्रेजेंट इन डाउन सिंड्रोम द एम सेवन सो यू कैन सिंपल सिंपल एम सी क्यूज ऑन दैट नॉट ऑफ द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ कॉस इन ऑल ल्यूकेमिया ऑल फोर ल्यूकेमिया दीज थ्री क्लिनिकल फीचर्स आर कॉमन now here the myeloblast is doing uncontrolled mitosis so it replaces rbc rbc is not formed it replaces platelet platelet are not formed so since rbc is not formed patient have anemia since platelet is not formed patient have bleeding disorders of thrombocytopenia and since myeloblast are present in the blood you know the mature forms are not coming only myeloblast are coming in the blood that's why patient have high propensity of infection also so these are the clinical features you will see ma'am this is common as it of cml in cml also we have this okay i got it but there is one additional feature which was not present in cml everyone here listen let me tell you one difference between cml and aml you tell me what is the difference what was happening in cml please understand what was happening in cml all these five cells were doing uncontrolled mitosis because of 922 translocation and they were shifted in the blood and after coming in the blood these all five they remain in the blood only they remain in the blood only they don't go anywhere else organ infiltration is not there in cml now please understand what is happening in aml please understand here what is happening in aml in aml only myeloblast is doing uncontrolled mitosis and only myeloblast is coming in the blood others are not coming okay school uniform appearance and after coming in the blood it infiltrate in various solid organs and producing lymphoma so lymphoma is a feature of aml it's a feature of aml but not cml how many of you got this point how many of you got this point organ infiltration it is known as organ infiltration so organ infiltration occurs in aml myeloblast do so but in cml it doesn't occur it never occur say yes if you got it how many of you got it huh got my point so in which organ it is infiltrating enumerate them it can infiltrate in the bone so patient have bone pain it can infiltrate in the lymph node patient have lymph node lymphadenopathy lymph nodes are enlarged it can is infiltrate in the spleen splenomegaly in the liver hepatomegaly in the kidney kidney infiltrates are there it can infiltrate in the gums also can you see gum hypertrophy the blast myeloblast from the blood they are moving in the gum and this producing the gum hypertrophy which is very peculiar it is seen in m4 and m5 m4 and m5 you get the mcq on that not in others m4 and m5 and it can move in the orbit and it can swell the eyeball orbit orbit okay it is known as chloroma it is known as chloroma in the eyeball it is known as chloroma and it happens in m2 so chloroma happens in m2 and the gum chloroma in the m2 and this one in m4 m5 m2 m4 m5 m2 m4 m5 in the orbit it's chloroma here it's m2 and in the gum it's m4 m5 how many of you got it say yes so this is the organ infiltration which is not a feature of cml but a feature of aml coming on the lab diagnosis quickly in the lab diagnosis of course in the blood hemoglobin is less platelet is less and wbc will be more of course hemoglobin will be less platelet will be less wbc will be more it is more than 1 lakh but only one type of cell in cml we got these five type of cells in the blood no not here here we get only one type of cell which one myeloblast that's it only one cell myeloblast so only myeloblast is coming in the blood and 99% of the cells in the blood are myeloblast no other cell it is spilled over because of the un because there are mutations here either 15 17 mutation or 8 21 mutation or inversion 16 mutation because of which it is doing uncontrolled mitosis and it is spilled in the blood once it is coming in the blood it is spilled in the blood so you will get only one type of cell myeloblast can you see only one type of cell now see this picture which how many type of cells i get only one type of cell these all cells are myeloblast you can see all the cells shown in this image they all are myeloblast with not garden party appearance you will say it's a school uniform appearance the or in a school uniform everyone is in the same dress so you can see uh, in the cytoplasm the red color rods are present in the cytoplasm these are iur rods based on the iur rods if you are attending my lecture from the beginning you understand i can identify this is myeloblast not lymphoblast because iur rods are present so iur rod is a feature that differentiate the myeloblast from the lymphoblast yes iur rod is the feature okay here iur rods are present maximum iur rods are present in m3 now you can understand all those maximum iur rods are present in m3 it is present in m3 maximum iur rods so it is not present in all myeloblast you can see out of the 7 8 cells shown to you only 3 of them have iur rod this one this one and this one others do not have so a myeloblast this is a myeloblast this is the nucleus of the myeloblast a myeloblast which is having iur rods in the cytoplasm such a myeloblast is known as phagocyte cell what is phagocyte cell 
it's the myeloblast with iron rod so maximum phagot cells are present in m3 or maximum iron rod cells are present in m3 it's a question it's an mcq please learn that got it so out of the four two you can understand now i want you to compare the aml with cml compare these two then we will come on the leukemoid first see the myeloid leukemias we are done with the myeloid leukemias by the way so please can you compare now say ma'am here in aml only myeloblasts are present in the blood i can see only one cell and in cml i can get myeloblasts but along with myeloblasts i get promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte band form neutrophil eosinophil basophil monocyte everything so here it's a garden party appearance and here it's a school uniform appearance you can compare don't mug up i want you to have a look on this peripheral smear and on this peripheral smear see how many type of cells you can see here and see only one type of cell here that too with the iron rod so if the peripheral smear is provided to you in your exam can you identify which type of leukemia is it say yes if you got it say yes huh what is the purpose of m1 m2 m3 uh cover surya so at your level if you are doing mbbs now so learning the classification is only important but the prognosis of all of them is different the mutation of all of them is different the treatment of all of them is different so if you are doing your md in hematology or in pathology then understanding the various types with their prognosis with their treatment form will be important for you but now at your level generalized learning the classification is more than sufficient but these are different eight types having different treatment and different prognosis got my point so treatment will be different prognosis that is the only answer can we go ahead hmm? yes got it so we have seen the blood picture now coming on the bone marrow of course cellularity is more in the bone marrow you can see hypercellular because myeloblasts are doing uncontrolled mitosis and replacing everyone so here most of the cells are myeloblast myeloblasts are more than 20 percent usually it is less than five percent here more than 20 percent and they have iron rods in them they are phagot cells erythroids are less and megakaryocytes are less so obviously we can understand okay obviously we can understand now cytogenetics you will get the three type of uh, mutation in m2 it's 821 translocation in m3 it's 1517 and in m4 it's inversion 16 but in others there are other translocation don't learn them usually you get question on these just a second give me a minute just a second give me a minute let me share it again okay i guess you can see okay so please learn that in m2 in m3 and in m4 so in m2 it's 821 in m3 it's 1517 in m4 it's inversion 16 on which you get the question in cytochemistry listen i am teaching you four types of leukemia this is the second one we have already completed cml yes or no we have already completed cml yes now after that i am covering right now aml after that, I will come on ALL also. Okay. And finally, I will come on CLL. So basically, the cytochemistry, the special stains are important here, here, here. Here, we don't have any special stain. Okay. So here, in CML, I told you only one special stain to learn. NAP or LAP score. NAP or LAP score. And that too is falling in CML. This is required to differentiate the CML from leukemoid reaction. We have seen that. Now, basically, the real confusion occurs here and here. Hannah, here also school uniform appearance, here also school uniform appearance. Here in the blood, you get only one cell myeloblast. Here in the cell, you get only one cell that is lymphoblast. Here the mutation occur in myeloblast that is doing uncontrolled mitosis and spilled in the blood. Here the mutation occur in the lymphoblast doing uncontrolled mitosis and spilled in the blood. The only way to differentiate them is iron rod. Here iron rod is present, here iron rod is absent. But sometimes we cannot appreciate the iron rod and we really get confused that which type of leukemia is there. So clinically both of them are same. Okay, this is also acute. This is also acute. Acute leukemias have bad poor prognosis. How many of you get it? So here really we want the uh, cytochemistry. So I will tell you total five stents. Three of them are positive here but negative there and two of them are positive here but negative there. So learn the total five together at one shot. At one place at one shot to differentiate the two acute leukemias from each other. Okay. So these are the five special stains. Out of the five MPO, Sudan Black and NSE is positive in AML. But PAS and acid phosphatase is negative here in AML. PAS and acid phosphatase is positive in ALL but not in AML. You are getting my point. You are getting my point. So the three, so you can compare the AML with ALL. The same table I will show you in the next leukemia when currently I am teaching you AML. After this, I will teach you ALL. So cytochemistry I am teaching you in common for both of them. So learn the five stains. MPO, myeloperoxidase. It is positive here. There are eight types. It is negative in M0 and except M0 it is positive everywhere for, from M1 to M7. But it is negative in M0. And here it is always negative. It is always negative. Sudan black, it is positive in AML, but it is negative in ALL. NSC, NSC is non-specific history. 
please learn NSE. It is also positive only in M3, M4, M5, not other. Only in M3, M4, M5, but it is always negative here. The past, past is periodic acid shift. It is positive there and acid phosphorus is also positive there. So these are the two which are positive there and these are the three which are positive here. How many have you got it? So MPO, Sudan black, NSC, past, acid phosphatase. So learn them in a sequence and learn A, ML, A, L, L. I want you to learn these three are positive here but negative here and these two are positive here, negative here. This is a generalized thing. But here MPO is positive everywhere except M0. You have to learn that. Ah. And NSC is positive only in M, M, uh, M3, M4, M5. Not everywhere. M3, M4, M5. Yes. So how many of you got it? Give me a thumbs up. Hmm? Give me a thumbs up. You got it? So please learn that. So can we go ahead? Can we go ahead? So that is the cytochemistry. Others not important. We are done with that and the treatment. Here we don't have any targeted therapy unfortunately. We have targeted therapy for CML. The CML targeted therapy is imitinib. Here we have to perform bone marrow transplant if donor is available. If the age of the patient is young, donor is available, HLA matching is there and everything is suitable, the best is go to with the bone marrow transplant. If bone marrow transplant is not possible, we will give the chemotherapy. We don't have targeted therapy. Which chemotherapy? We use three drugs. We use cytosine, arabinocyte, anthracycline and 6-thioguanin. We use these three. The combination of these three, chemotherapy. We don't have targeted therapy. This we will give everywhere except M3. In M3, we give retinoic acid retentoin as a treatment because in M3 we have DIC. In M3 we have DIC. Please learn M3 is a special type. What are the eight types I told you? M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7. Can you tell me the important features of all of them? M0 learn it is MPO negative. Rest all are MPO positive. M1, M2 nothing important, nothing important. M3 may DIC. It is a unique having DIC. Here maximum pagod cells. Pagod cells, maximum iron rods, maximum iron rods, maximum pagod cells, okay. And um, in M2, chloromas are there. In M2, chloromas, you know what is chloroma? Orbit gets swelled, chloromas are there. And in M4, M5, gum infiltration is there. Gum infiltration is there. These are the important po points you have to learn it. I have told you already we are revising. And in M3, M4, M5, NSC is positive. That's it. So please learn. It is already given in the notes. Please learn that. These are the important points. The most important is DIC. So for that, the treatment of all of them is same. We give chemotherapy. You know the three chemotherapy drugs. But treatment of M3 is different. We don't give chemotherapy here. We give retinoic acid or tretinoin here. Got it? So please learn. Now coming lastly on the prognostic factor, you get many questions on the prognosis of the AML. Please learn that. So learn the good prognostic factors and bad prognostic factor. Most important is the age. If the age is less than 40, prognosis is good. If age is extremes, either less than 2 or more than 50, 55, the prognosis is poor. So extremes are poor. The middle age is good, but extremes are poor. M2, M3, M4 is good, but except that M0, M6, M7 are poor. Okay, M1 is moderate, you can say. Okay, so M2, M3, M4 are good. You have to learn that. Blast with iron rod. This is the karyotype, it's good, but complex karyotype is bad. If total leukocyte is less than 2.5 lakh, is good. If it is more than, uh, you know, uh, less than, I'm sorry, 25,000 is good. If more than 1 lakh, it's bad. Uh, 15, 17, 8, 21 and inversion 16 is good. But apart from that, deletion of 5, deletion of 7 is bad. These three, the which we have learned, these are the good. So you have to learn the good and the bad prognostic factors. We will solve some MCQs and we are done with AML also. So out of the 4, 2 are done. How many of you got it? Read it. All of the following are poor prognostic factors except. Which of the following is not a poor prognostic factor in AML? Is it inversion 16? Good or bad? I guess this one is good. This one is good. Complex karyotype, it's bad. M7, it's bad. And deletion uh, 7Q, it's bad. So only one is good, that is inversion 16. Rather than, uh, no, don't judge, don't guess, I mean. Have a look on this table and then tell me. So you can see inversion 16 is coming on this side, but the remaining three are coming on that side. You can see complex karyotype. You can see M7 type and you can see deletion of 7Q. They are the bad ones. So basically you have to learn the prognostic factors. Please, I'm insisting. Please. Yes, you all are right. Absolutely right. Okay, the next one. AML with gum infiltration. Hepatospinomegaly most likely to be. So gum infiltration occurs in which one? I told you. 
gum infiltration chloromas occur in m2 but gum infiltration occurs in m4 and m5 out of m4 and m5 only m4 is given in the option so go with m4 if m5 is also given in the option that's also correct so gum infiltration occurs in m4 m5 if i change the word gum infiltration with chloroma chloroma is the eye eyeball the orbit involvement then the answer will become m2 in the same question the answer will become m2 how many of you got it W2 classification is uh, not important here. Fat classification is important to it. The question comes on the fat classification. Okay. AML with worse prognosis. Tell me poor prognostic factor. Bad prognostic factor. 821. Translocation. This is good one. Inversion 16. This is also good one. Normal cytogenetics is good one. Not the complex one. But monosomy 7. 7Q. It's a bad one. So the answer is this one. You can see monosomy 7 is poor. But you can see. You can see 821 is good one. Here you can see 821. Inversion 16 is also good one. But the 7Q is bad one. So you have to learn this table. Got my point? Got my point? One more question for you. Translocation characteristic in acute promyelostatic leukemia. You first tell me acute promyelostatic leukemia is what? Is it M0, M1, M2? I have told you the classification M0, M1, M2. M3 onwards I told you how to learn. M3, M4, M5, M6 and M7. How to learn that? I told you a trick to learn. What is the trick? Acute promyelocytic leukemia, myelocytic, myelomonocytic, erythrocytic and megakaryocytic. So they are asking promyelocytic. The promyelocytic is M3. So basically they are asking the translocation in M3. So I asked you, I told you to learn the translocation. In M2, the translocation is 821. In M3, it's 1517. And in M4, it's inversion 16. Currently they are asking in M3, so my answer is 1517. Currently, they are asking in M3. So, it is a two-step question. First, reading the question, you have to see acute promyelostatic leukemia as M3. And what is the mutation in M3? It's 1517. So, answer is 1517. If in the same question, it is 1517 in M3. How many of you got it? If I ask you M2, then answer will become 821. And if I ask you in M4, answer will become in, in, in version 16. So, basically, you have to learn it separately. Are your rods are seen in lymphoblast or myeloblast? Lymphoblast or myeloblast? Not in erythroblast, megakaryoblast, obviously. So, obviously, the IO rods are seen in, I guess, everyone know it's myeloblast. This is a way to differentiate how we differentiate myeloblast from the lymphoblast. You can see in the myeloblast, we have IO rod here. But in lymphoblast, we don't have IO rod. These all are your previous year questions of different exams, you can see. DIC occurs in which one? We know DIC occurs in M3. But what is the name of M3? What is M3? Is it acute promyelocytic leukemia or acute myelomonocytic? This one is m3 this one is m4 this is cml and this is autoimmune hemolytic anemia they are out of stock and now we don't consider them as differential although so correct answer is m3 so correct answer is a i guess you all are right so this is a way we approach this is a way we approach okay one more image based question is there there is a 16 year old leukemia patient who is having decreased platelet look at the age look at the age age is always important platelet is less okay prolonged pt and aptt i mean bleeding time is more so thrombocytopenia and peripheral smear is given so combine the clues look at the age look at the image and look at the thrombocytopenia so combine all three and tell me the translocation tell me the uh, combined translocation so here you can see maximum all these cells are same they are not different so it is school uniform appearance and in the cytoplasm i can see the granules i mean do, uh, this rod like materials this is IO rod. Although image is not very good, but here you can see the IO rods. Appreciate the IO rods. So appreciate the IO rods. The cell is full of IO rods. So basically these are phagot cells. And maximum phagot cells, they all are phagot cells. Maximum phagot cells are seen in M3. And the mutation in M3 is again 1570. So it's an indirect question. First, based on the question, clinical history, and based on the image, come on the diagnosis, it is a leukemia with maximum phagot cells. Maximum phagot cell occur in M3 and the mutation in M3 is 1517. That's why the answer is 1517. How many of you got it? Got it. The next question. Maximum IO rods are seen in, of course, the answer is M3. I told you many times. Okay. So it's the same question. Yeah. Non-specific esterase is positive in all AML except NSE. Non-specific esterase, NSE, is positive only in three AML. Which three? M3, M4, and M5. I told you it is positive in M3, M4, M5, but not in M6. So, correct answer is M6 because they are asking except. So, correct answer is M6. Got it? So, it is positive in M3, M4, M5. You can see. But not in M6. Okay. Got it? So, we are done with that. I guess many questions we have covered. We are done with AML. 
CML and AML. Let's start the next one, AL. Can I start? How many of you are ready? Can we start ELL? How many of you are with full energy yet? Hmm? Still in energy. Can we continue? Can we continue the next one? Say yes. Hmm? Definitely I will consider Muhammad. Definitely I will come. I will cover all these topics. You can text it here one by one. I will schedule it. Okay. So let's come on the next topic that is ALL. The third leukemia. We have covered this, covered this. Now we will cover this. And finally this one and we will have a comparative table of all four. So let's come on ALL. So what is happening in ALL? Now in ALL what will happen? Listen, listen, listen. Till now we have covered two now. So let me revise you what happened in CML, AML and then come on ALL. In CML, CCC, in CML all these five cells were mutated. The name of the mutation is 922 translocation and they all five were moving in the blood. That is CML. Okay, we have already seen that. In AML, only myeloblast was mutated. We know the three type of mutation. It's 821, it was uh, uh, 1517 translocation and it was inversion 16. Because of which only myeloblast was coming in the blood and that was known as AML. Okay, now we are coming on ALL. In ALL, the mutation occur in lymphoblast. So only lymphoblast will come in the blood. Only lymphoblast will come in the blood, not others. Only lymphoblast will come in the blood. So that is ALL. So that is ALL. How many of you got it? So because lymphocytes are of two types, B lymphocyte and T lymphocyte. So that's why ALL is of two types. Pre -B, B cell ALL or pre T cell. They occur in children. See the age group. They typically occur in children. So you know the age group. Here age group I told you more than 50 years. Here I told you 15 to 40 years and here I am telling you in children. If it is pre-B cell, it occurs 3 to 5 years and if it is pre-T cell, it occurs in adolescent. But both of them are children. They are toddlers or they are children. So basically it's a leukemia of children. So basically if you are getting a question, there is a child or in this age group and having leukemia, only one option is there that is ALL. So please look the age and compare the age of all of them. So it occurs in children. Here only lymphoblast is coming. So in the pathogenesis here I told you here. All five are coming. Myeloblast, promyelocyte, myelocyte, metamyelocyte and band form. These five are coming in the blood. Here only myeloblast is coming. Here only lymphoblast is coming in the blood. So this is garden party appearance. This is cool uniform with iron rod. This is cool uniform without iron rod. That's it. It is as simple as that. I hope you all are learning it. Say yes if you got it. Huh? SLE, TB, I will cover it all. Don't worry. One by one. Okay. Chalo. First understand the leukemia here. Okay. Tell me the pathogenesis. Tell me the mutation. In pre-B cell, the mutation is hyperploidy. Most commonly hyperploidy or hypoploidy. Either the chromosome increase in number, more than 46 chromosome or decrease in number, less than 46. So hyperploidy or hypoploidy can be there. Loss of mutations can be there and one of the mutations is 922. You say, what? 922? But 922 fusion, ABL, BCR fusion, we have seen in CML. You are teaching us ALL. I taught you this one is in CML. So in CML as well as ALL, in both of them 922 translocation occur. So here also fusion formed, ABL, BCR. Here also ABL, BCR fusion formed. I am telling you in the pathogenesis, here also we have 922 translocation. So fusion gene is formed. Here also 922 translocation fusion gene is formed. So here ABL BCR fusion gene, the size is 210 kilo Dalton. And here the ABL BCR fusion gene, you know how it is formed. In the same way it is formed, the translocation, the exchange takes place. But here the size of the fusion gene is only 190 kilo Dalton. So that is the, you know, someone was asking now 210 and 190 kilo Dalton. So we have to see the size. Based on the size, we can identify the fusion gene size. Here also ABL BCR fusion gene. Here also ABL BCR fusion gene. But based on the size, we can identify is it CML or is it ALL? How many of you got it? Although this is the only mutation which occurs here. Here it is one of the minor mutation. The major mutation is hyperploidy or hypoploidy. It is one of the minor. But in CML, it is the only mutation. Give me a thumbs up, people. Please interact. Please say. Give me a feel that I'm teaching you live. Say yes if you got it. Say yes. And in pre-T cell, the mutation is not gene. The mutation occurs in the not gene. So what are the mutations here? Either hyperploidy or hypoploidy or 922 or not gene. These are the mutations here. And based on uh, the size of the fusion gene, we can differentiate. Is it CML or is it ALL? So we can differentiate. According to PAP classification, AML was of 8 types, M0, 2, M7. 
but based on fab classification a l l is only of three type there is no l0 we directly have l1 l2 l3 we have only three type we don't have l0 we have only three type l1 l2 l3 you can see l1 l2 l3 l1 is most common having best prognosis l3 is rare and having worse prognosis you can see this is a rare worse prognosis okay so that is l1 l2 l3 now here you can see here you can see the bone marrow failure features here also here only cell is lymphoblast the mutation occur in the lymphoblast which mutation i told you various mutation either hyperploidy or hypoploidy or 922 translocation or not gene tra mutations because of any mutation this become cancer cell it keep on uh, doing mitosis uncontrolled mitosis 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 it will replace everything else so no rbcs are formed patient have anemia no platelet are formed patient are bleeding manifestation although the lymphoblasts are many so wbc count will be more but they are the immature cells so patient is highly prone to infection so these are the three features which are common for all leukemia how many have you got it but here along with the leukemia features patient have you know organ infiltration so organ infiltration occurs in aml also in all also but the organs will be you know some some uh, unique organs are there here in all also organ infiltration is there so here the lymphoblasts are coming in the blood first in the marrow these lymphoblasts replace everything else okay then it is spilled in the blood after coming in the blood it will move in various organs which organ enumerate them it can go in the bone it can go in the lymph node it can go in the spleen it can go in the liver it can go in the mediastinal lymph nodes it can go in the meninges and it can goes in the testes in the boy in the male i mean so these three things are unique which are present in all but not in aml and these are common in both these are common in both and gum infiltration and chloroma was unique there you, you are getting my point so i'm telling you aml and telling you all okay i taught you here only myeloblast will do the uncontrolled mitosis and spilled in the blood and after coming in the blood the myeloblast will move in various organs here the lymphoblast will do the uncontrolled mitosis from the bone marrow it is spilled in the blood and from the blood it will go in various organs so that is the two type of the leukemias we are comparing okay here i told you in both of them liver infiltration is there hepatomegaly splenomegaly is in both of them lymph node infiltration lymphoadenopathy is in both of them kidney infiltration in both of them okay so these are the common bone infiltration in both of them it is common but there is something unique organs here some unique organs here so here the unique organ is gum infiltration and chloroma chloroma is the orbit so orbit that is chloroma and gum infiltration is unique here orbit infiltration is seen in m2 and gum infiltration is seen in m4 and m5 i told you here the unique is mediastinal lymph nodes mediastinal lymph nodes meninges meninges and testes testes that is not there but these organs are common which are infiltrated in both of them but in cml there is no infiltration there is no organ infiltration i hope you are getting say yes say no akshay i hope you have joined late i have already taught you the nap score there okay so you can go back in the session where i have taught you the differential diagnosis of the cml there i have taught you the nap score in detail in much detail okay so coming on the lab diagnosis of all currently i am teaching you all okay so all you can see the blood picture the hemoglobin is less the platelet is less obviously in the blood you get only one cell only one cell only one cell which cell it's lymphoblast you can see all cells school uniform appearance all the cells are same school uniform appearance they all are lymphoblast all the cells are same they are lymphoblast we are done with this one we are done with this one we are done with this one compare people compare open your eyes and compare them see here we get only one cell myeloblast here we get only one cell lymphoblast so this is also school uniform appearance this is also school uniform appearance but here we are getting the iron rods in the cytoplasm people and here there is no iron rod these are myeloblast these are lymphoblast and here we are getting five type of cells we are getting myeloblast promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte band form neutrophil eosinophil basophil monocyte it is a garden party appearance a beautiful garden party where everyone is in different beautiful dresses how many of you got it people now if the peripheral smear is provided to you will you be able to identify the type of leukemia until now the last one is pending that i will teach you now then we will do the comparison of all four at one place and one shot say yes so that is lymphoblast here we are getting only lymphoblast see this image can also come one type of cell all the cells are same it's only one type it's not garden party school uniform so it's school uniform is it with iron rod or without iron rod none of the cell have iron rod so they all are lymphoblast okay so you can get any cells so they all are lymphoblast you can see all of them are lymphoblast all of them are lymphoblast all of them are lymphoblast you can compare 
now we are done with this coming on the bone marrow again the cellularity is more but this time the leukemic cells are lymphoid not myeloid this time the blast is lymphoblast rbcs are less wbcs are less obviously in the cytogenetics we have already seen there you can get hyperploidy hyperploidy 922 notch so in the cytogenetics you will get the exact mutation and cytochemistry also i taught you in the cytochemistry also i taught you you have to compare the five stains to differentiate the myeloblast from lymphoblast okay now you can get confused sometime you can see ki ma'am this is also school uniform appearance listen listen and this is also school uniform what if i miss this iu rod you are saying only iu rod is the difference if i miss this iu rod what i will make wrong diagnosis i will give wrong treatment i cannot do that so use five special stain what are the five special stain these are these myeloblast you can see all these school uniform cells myeloblast they are mpo positive they are sudan black positive and they are nsc positive but they are pas negative and acid phosphatase negative these are pas positive and acid phosphatase positive so you can see the cytochemistry is absolutely different so lymphoblasts are pas and acid phosphatase positive and myeloblasts are mpo sudan black and nsc positive so cytochemistry may you have to perform all five together so that crystal clear diagnosis so you have to perform all five together you can see here so aml all currently i want all so in all only these two are positive you can see which two pas and acid phosphatase these are positive here and these are negative in these are negative in aml rather in aml these three are positive mpo sudan black and nsc which are negative here so based on this we can do the diagnosis say yes got it yes so that is the diagnosis treatment again we don't have any targeted therapy in cml we have targeted but here we don't have targeted so we do bone marrow transplant the best treatment if the donor is available hla matching is done otherwise chemotherapy is the option in the chemotherapy but the chemotherapy drugs are different there in aml we have seen the chemotherapy drugs as a uh, thioguanin we have seen um, uh, cytosine arabinoside here we have ventristin prednisolone anthracyclines that is donorubicin and adriamycin and l aspergine So these are the chemotherapy drugs we give here, and we give the symptomatic treatment for anemia. We give blood transfusion for thrombocytopenia. We give platelet transfusion. That is a symptomatic treatment. That is not cure. Okay, got it. Prognostic factors. Finally, the prognostic factors. We have good prognosis. We have bad prognostic factors. Two to ten years. It occurs in children. I'm teaching you ALL. I'm teaching you ALL. It occurs in children. Two to ten years age group is good, but extremes are bad. Less than two, more than ten. Both extremes are bad. The same was there in AML. Okay, here also extremes are bad. In females, female child the prognosis is good. In male child the prognosis is bad. In whites the prognosis is good, but in blacks the prognosis is bad. It's genetically okay. If the CNS involvement, meninges involvement, mediastinal lymph nodes involvement, testicular involvement is there, prognosis is um, uh, if involvement is there. If no involvement, prognosis is good. But if the involvement is there, obviously the prognosis is bad. Okay, hyperploidy is good. Hypoploidy is bad. please learn that please learn that okay 922 here is bad okay so please learn the important prognostic factors we will solve certain mcqs and move on the last leukemia that is cll quickly okay so coming on some mcqs what is the poor prognostic indicator of all ha huh? female female gender is good if the wbc count is less than 50000 it's good okay age more than 1 1 to 10 is good okay less than 1 more than 10 is bad but hypoploidy is bad hyperploidy is good hypoploidy is bad you can see hyperploidy is good hyperploidy is bad so you can see hyperploidy is bad remaining three are good so you have to learn the prognostic factors of all of them okay got it so pas periodic acid shift pas stain pas stain shows block positivity in which is it show block positivity in myeloblast or lymphoblast or monoblast or mycokaryoblast so pas is used to differentiate um, 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 myeloblast and lymphoblast in myeloblast it's negative in lymphoblast it's positive lymphoblast so you see pas is one of the stain that is differentiating the two and acid phosphatase these are the two stains which are positive in lymphoblast but not in myeloblast instead of pas if the question is on acid phosphatase so pas and acid phosphatase both of them are positive in lymphoblast but the mpo sudan black and nsc are positive in myeloblast not lymphoblast okay so that is the thing one more question on the prognostic factor we can skip now read the next question see the age 12 year old male age is important gender is important see 12 year old so we are talking about a child okay a male child having fatigue fatigue means anemia so imagine a 12 year old child having anemia on physical examination there is palpable axillary and inguinal lymphadenopathy 
so the lymph nodes are enlarged various lymph nodes are enlarged the spleen is also palpable so patient have spinomegaly patient have lymphadenopathy and peripheral smear image is given to you in the peripheral smear i can see all the cells are looking same school uniform appearance or not garden party now try to search the eye rod in any of them do you find the eye rod no we are finding hardly any cytoplasm hardly any cytoplasm most of them they don't have any cytoplasm they are lymphoblast so is the option all or cll or infectious mononucleosis or iron deficiency anemia of course it's leukemia so which leukemia is it all or cll huh? looking at the age and looking at the image my diagnosis is all and you all are right cll never occur in this age group cll occurs after 80 years reading the age only rule out this option reading the age don't look at the image reading the age only rule out this option rule out rule out it never occur in children in children we have only one leukemia all and the image is also supporting that say yes if you all got it the correct answer is a so based on that you get many question image based question so till now we have covered three till now we have covered three leukemia so age group is different in all three okay so let me come on the last one are you ready shall i start the last one cll and i will do a comparative analysis of all four so let's come on the last one that is cll so let's come on the last chronic lymphocytic leukemia also known as small lymphocytic lymphoma sometimes this converts into lymphoma so it is cll or sll one and the same age is over 60 years median is 60 years it occurs in old age only so usually 60 years or more than 60 years okay so here what is happening listen listen people come back listen everyone listen start from the beginning so start from cml what was happening in cml in cml cml the five cells were mutated these five they all were mutated they were doing uncontrolled mitosis and they all five were coming in the blood that is the cml we have seen that okay now the second i taught you is aml in aml only myeloblast was mutated doing uncontrolled mitosis and it was coming in the blood so in aml only myeloblast was coming in blood okay the third i taught you is all in which lymphoblast was doing uncontrolled mitosis it was mutated and only lymphoblast was coming in the blood that is all now last i want to teach you cll so you tell me in cll what will come in the blood you tell me in cfl what cll what will come in the blood can you guess then I will tell you. So what will exactly come in the blood? Can you tell me what will come in the blood? Huh? Say yes, say no, say something, respond, people, write down in the chat box, fast, quick. What will come in the blood? Here none of the blast will come in the blood. In CLL, mature lymphocytes come in the blood. Mature lymphocytes come in the blood. CLL. You will see, man, we all have lymphocytes. I'm also having lymphocytes, but I don't have CLL. So what do you mean by mature lymphocyte? Here the mature lymphocytes are there, but they are not normal. They are mutated lymphocytes. In that mutations are there. I will tell you the exact mutations are there. No, no, lymphoblasts don't come here. Bismar. It is the only leukemia where no blast is coming. Neither myeloblast nor lymphoblast. None of the blast is coming in the blood. Here the mature lymphocytes which are mutated, they are coming in the blood. And in the blood, you will get only one type of cell that is mature lymphocyte, not lymphoblast, mind mammals. Only mature lymphocyte. Again, school uniform appearance. But only one cell lymphocyte, not a lymphoblast. If you are getting only lymphoblast, it's ALL. You are getting mature lymphocyte, it's CLL. You are getting my point. So here, basically, the mature lymphocyte, this mature lymphocyte, it is not normal. It is not normal. Normally, we have 20 to 50 percent of lymphocyte in blood. Here, 99 percent are lymphocyte. Most of the cells are only lymphocyte. No neutrophil, no eosinophil, no basophil, nothing else. So here, the complete marrow is filled with lymphocytes, which are abnormal, mutated, and it is spilled in the blood. Tell me the mutation. There are five mutations. Deletion of 13 deletion of 11 deletion of 17 11 13 and 17 the odd numbers and the trisomy of 12 Hana? so deletion of 11 13 and uh, 17 i mean monosomy monosomy of 11 13 and 17 but the trisomy of 12 okay so these are the deletion of 13 is most common that will lead to uh you know that will lead to uh uncontrolled mitosis and lymphocytes and the lymphocytes are spilled in the blood so here 99 percent cells are the lymphocytes you got it so here also the th same three clinical features anemia bleeding disorders infection because here most of the cells are lymphocytes they will replace everything else so no rbc patient have anemia no platelet patient have bleeding disorder and most of the cells are only mature but abnormal lymphocytes so patient have high susceptibility for infection but lymphadenopathy hepatomegaly splenomegaly can also present okay lab diagnosis of course, hemoglobin and platelet will be less and WBC will be normal to more. You can see here. This is the peripheral smear. Now compare. This ma'am, okay. What is this? Listen, listen, listen. This is the patient. Please understand now. This is a patient. The age of the patient is 80 years. Okay. The age of this patient is 80 years. 
and patient is complaining of anemia patient is having lethargy patient is having uh, bleeding disorders patient is having frequent infection and lymphadenopathy so looking at the age and the symptom i am suspecting the patient is having leukemia so what i will do so ma'am take a peripheral smear and i am suspecting the patient is having cls and my diagnosis is right my suspicion is right if my suspicion is right the blood sample contain only one cell which cell is it lymphoblast no 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 it is lymphocyte only one cell the mature lymphocyte which are mutated so this this these all cells are mature lymphocytes which are mutated now please listen they are mutated they are abnormal they are not normal lymphocyte their cell wall is very fragile so what happens after taking it in a test tube what you will do say ma'am i will make a smear i will take a slide how to make a smear tell me the process say ma'am it's very easy take a drop here take a drop here and take a take a spreader at 45 degree put the spreader and spread it and make a tongue shaped smear i guess you know that so you take a spreader and with a spreader you make a smear so why i am telling you that so because here when you spread and make a tongue shaped smear na most of the lymphocytes sometimes they get ruptured because they are abnormal lymphocyte you got my point so here you get the complete lymphocyte in the test tube but whenever you transmit them on a slide and spread them some of them are complete but some of them will rupture some of them will rupture they will burst the bursted lymphocyte is known as smudge cell it's known as smudge cell or also known as basket cell smudge or basket cell how many of you got it smudge or basket cells are the ruptured lymphocyte you will get them in slide but you will not get them in test tube so you can say it's a slide artifact it's a slide artifact these are not present in patient smudge cells are not present in patient's blood they are not present in test tube but why making the slide because of the spreader the lymphocyte get ruptured because they are abnormal lymphocyte and they will get ruptured and they will make the smudge smudge cells or basket cells how many of you got it so in this slide what you will get you will see ma'am these all are mature lymphocyte only one type of cell uniform mature lymphocyte but some of them are ruptured and i can see this is a smudge cell this is a smudge cell how many of you got it you can see the same here you can see only one type of cell mature lymphocyte small lymphocyte you can see and some of them are ruptured which are known as smudge cell smudge cell or basket cell how many of you got it people say people respond so smudge cell or basket cell are the degenerated forms they are produced because of the fragile lymphocytes the lymphocytes are very fragile they get ruptured you get mcq on that yes due to wiemanntin problem absolutely right uh, clary absolutely right so in the cell wall uh, in the cell wall i told you there is a problem in the wiemanntin and that's why they are very fragile and by making a slide they get ruptured so that is a smudge cell how many of you got it so we are done here with the peripheral smear also so we can compare all four finally finally we can compare all four the four leukemia peripheral smear in front of you let's compare come back let's compare you can see these two are myeloid these two are lymphoid you can see the acute chronic acute chronic in aml let's start with aml in aml compared to all compare the two acute versions in the two acute versions both of them are school uniform appearance here only one cell myeloblast here only one cell lymphoblast you will say ma'am how to differentiate myeloblast from lymphoblast myeloblast have moderate cytoplasm with iron rod iron rod that is phagocytes cells here scanty cytoplasm or no cytoplasm and no iron rod so myeloblast lymphoblast that's it now coming on the chronic version coming on the chronic version see the chronic version of cml here see the chronic version of cll here see the chronic versions so in cml it's a garden party appearance you get many type of cells especially the five precursors myeloblast promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte band form along with neutrophil eosinophil basophil and monocytes you get everything garden party and here again school uniform but no blast here we have blast here we have blast here we have blast here we have no blast in cll we have mature lymphocyte it's not a blast but it's abnormal it's mutated and the ruptured form is the smudge cell so we can get smudge cell so you see the peripheral smear and compare all five give me a thumbs up people no one will simplify the super simplified version of leukemias here the comparative you can looking at the peripheral smear you can make it out which type i'm not tell me the age of all four tell me the pathogenesis of all four likewise everyone got it hmm everyone yes definitely have a schedule a session on the lymphoma if many students are demanding the same okay now coming on the lab diagnosis of cll let me finish cll let me so in the blood picture hemoglobin is less platelet is less wbc is more and the cells are most of the cells i told you they are lymphocytes immunophenotyping you can do so it is uh, uh 
it is a leukemia of the B lymphocytes. So here all the markers of the B lymphocytes are present like CD19, CD20, surface IgM, IgD along with CD23 and CD5. These are B cell markers because here the mature B cells are present now which are mutated. And lymph node biopsy you can do. In the lymph node biopsy you can see the pseudo follicles can be present. Normal follicles are effaced and instead of that pseudo follicles are there and you can see if you if you zoom out if you are zooming it and doing the uh, magnification inside the pseudo follicles you can see the small round lymphoid cells with scanty cytotrans that's it okay we are done treatment no treatment available palliative symptomatic treatment no chemotherapy no treatment no targeted therapy nothing is available prognosis is usually very poor the poor prognostic factors are 11q deletion 17q deletion or trisomy 12 no hyper somatic hypermutation or presence of notch mutation these are the poor prognostic factors we are done read the question tell me the answer 80 year old man look at the age age is always important people age is always important presented with a painless cervical lymphoadenopathy and the peripheral smear is given to you look at the age look at the symptom look at the image combine the three and tell me the diagnosis what do you see in the image in the image i can see only one type of cell these are lymphocytes you can see these are not blast blast are big in size they are small small they are not blast they hardly have any cytoplasm and along with that, the biggest view given to you, the ruptured versions are given to you. That these are the smudge cells. So lymphocyte with smudge cell with this age, with this symptom, it is CLL. The correct answer is C and you all are right. Okay, got it. Can we go ahead? Can we go ahead? Smudge cells are found in. Of course, the question is very easy. I guess everyone can answer. Smudge cells are found in CLL. Of course. So smudge cells are the ruptured ruptured mature lymphocytes that is the smudge cells also known as basket cell the basic mutation is in the uh, bimentin there is abnormality in the bimentin that's why it gets ruptured why we are making the smear so it's a slide artifact in cll basically which type which type of cell is predominating is it b lymphocyte or t lymphocyte or is it simple lymphocyte or is it monocyte so basically it's a simple lymphocyte which is proliferating here and coming it is um, mutated proliferating and spilled over in the blood so we are done. We are done with the four types of leukemia. Can we compare it once for a while and end the session? You can text me for the more sessions you require on which topic. And let me tell you what I have planned further for you. So let me compare the four leukemias first. You know the definition. Tell me the age group of all four. So CML occurs after 50 years. AML occurs 15 to 40 years. ALL occurs in children. And CLL occurs 60 60 to 80 years so you can see the age group is entirely different okay please note down looking at the age it, exceptions are there but looking at the age itself you can have a guess which type of leukemia they are talking in the pathogenesis tell me the mutation here here uh, the mutation is taking place in five cells tell me first cells myeloblast promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte and band form i will tell you the mutation also here mutation taking place only in myeloblast here mutation taking place in lymphoblast here mutation taking place in mature lymphocytes not in blast now tell me the mutation tell me the mutation people here only one mutation is there 922 translocation only one mutation is there here various types are there specifically eight types are there so mutation is important in m2 m3 and m4 Although mutation occurs in all, but important in our syllabus is B3. So in M2, it's 821 translocation. In M3, it's 1517 translocation. And in M4, it's inversion 16 translocation. Okay. Here in ALL, in lymphoblast, we have two types. We have two types. What are the two types? We have B, uh, pre-B cell and pre-T cell. In the pre-B cell, it's hyperploidy, hypoploidy, and 922 translocation. In the T cell, it's notch mutation. You will say, ma'am, we have 2 to 922. Yes, we have 922 here also, here also. So we have fusion formed there also, there also. But here the size of the fusion gene is 210 kilodalton. And here the size of the fusion gene is 190 kilodalton. Based on which we can differentiate. Coming finally on the mutations in CLL. So we have 11, 13 and 17 monosomy. They are deletions or monosomy. Deletions or monosomy. And 12 trisomy. The most important among them is 13. So this is the pathogenesis you have to learn. Say yes, people, say yes. So I have taught you the age of all and I have taught you the pathogenesis. So here you have to understand one thing. 
this mutation whatever i have mentioned this mutation this mutation this mutation this mut this is occurring in which cell so here all these five cells come in the blood so garden party appearance here only one cell come here only one cell comes and here also one cell will come so these are the school uniform appearance but here along with the lymphocyte they will rupture so you will get smudge cells also so comparing the peripheral smear of all four makes a cell you can see that we can compare the peripheral smear so you can see here we are getting only one cell that is myeloblast here with iron rod here getting one cell lymphoblast no iron rod here getting five cell myeloblast myelocyte promyelocyte metamyelocyte and band form and here getting only one cell lymphocyte but they're ruptured version smudge cell i guess it's crystal crystal super duper clear to all of you so peripheral smear is super duper clear to all of you now the most important thing one more thing wait 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 clinical feature compare the clinical feature of all four we will compare every aspect every aspect i will make leukemia as a you know i will crush it and definitely i will make it a fun for you after five minutes leukemia will be nothing for you you know you can answer any question based on the leukemia in your whatever exam you are targeting doesn't matter oh anyways so here clinical features so anemia thrombocytopenia that is bleeding disorders and infection that occurs here also here also here also here also because here the uh, five cells are replacing everything here myeloblasts are replacing everything here lymphoblasts are replacing everything and here lymphocytes are replacing everything that's why patients have anemia in all three patients have thrombocytopenia in all four patients have infection in all four so this is the common in all four but here we don't have organ infiltration but here we have organ infiltration so lymphoadenopathy occurs in both of them hepatomegaly splenomegaly bone pain occurs in both of them okay it is occurring organ infiltration here specific organs in aml is gum and chloroma here specific organs is mediastinal lymph node testes and meninges that is specific meninges occurs here also but less specific so that you have to learn sometime here cervical lymphoadenopathy or other lymphoadenopathy present here also but only lymphoadenopathy here so this is the organ infiltration we have seen but we never have organ infiltration in cml please learn that in cml no organ infiltration coming on the lab diagnosis and treatment part okay coming on the lab diagnosis of all of them let me tell you the lab diagnosis let me erase it and tell you the lab diagnosis okay in the lab diagnosis you tell me the cytochemistry i mean special stain of all of them on which you frequently get the question so here the special stain is nap or lap score which is reduced here to differentiate it from leukemia reaction here it's mpo positive sudan black positive and nsc positive okay these three things are negative here but this one is pass positive and uh, acid phosphatase positive which are negative here i know and here we don't have any special we have a uh, immunochemistry here we don't have cytochemistry so it's cd19 cd20 igm positive i know surface marker cd23 positive so you have to learn the immunochemistry treatment portion i have told you so only one of them have targeted therapy cml and the name of the targeted therapy is imitinib here we have imitinib we don't require bone marrow transplant here bone marrow transplant with chemotherapy bone marrow transplant with chemotherapy here palliative therapy prognostic factors you have to learn good bad good bad good bad good bad got it huh give your feedback you got the leukemia was it easy the same you can compare here also if you didn't like this diagram you can see the same here appreciate 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 myeloblast here appreciate the iron rods appreciate lymphoblast here no iron rods appreciate all five myeloblast promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte band form and appreciate only one cell that is lymphocyte along with the smudge cell here appreciate if you have any doubt ask if you have any doubt please ask got it got it now if you are preparing for your competitive exam that is neat pg in india fmg i n i c t in india or you are preparing for some abroad exams like usmle or plab so i have simultaneously we have solved the mcqs but if you are preparing for second prof university exam and you have a theory paper on leukemia so this is a list of university exam questions i will provide you in the notes so you can read the long questions are provided to you from leukemia so you should be prepared for that and short questions are also provided to you so all the long questions short questions and damn sure you can answer it now so whatever exam you are targeting you are prepared people you can note down this contact number if you have any query on this topic or if you have any query on any other topic which i taught you in pathology in pharmacology in microbiology in psm in medicine whatever subjects i taught you in that you can text it here it is not for calling it is only for chat support so please kindly don't call 
and you 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 have a check support here the number is 9833032948 you can note it down you can save it with my name and i personally answer each of them but sometimes the response can be delayed by a day or two but definitely you will get the response okay if you have any topic in your mind and you want me to teach that on youtube so instead of writing here in the youtube comments please text it here so please text that topic if the the same topic is demanded by many students we will schedule it soon but if it is demanded by less students we will also schedule it but later on okay so that will be the sequence we will decide okay so team will decide the sequence okay so please text whatever topic you want it's in your mind in whatever subject please okay so please text it here okay got it okay if you want the notes of this session or notes of any other session which i have taught on the youtube the notes are free they are not chargeable they are available so you have to click on the link which is pinned in the comment box after the session it will be pinned i mean just after the session you can check um, uh, maybe my team have pinned it if it is not pinned definitely after just immediately after ending the session you will get it okay the same replica which i have taught you right now the same replica you will get okay exactly same okay so you can get the notes now you can do a scan here so the qr code is provided to you you will be diverted to my website that is madlife by dr priyanka where i share the updates and high yielding educational content which is important for the medical specifically okay no fun no funny videos nothing only high yielding educational content which is important for you so you can connect with me on various social media platforms on whatsapp on instagram on telegram if you wish so just scan it or you can take a snapshot you can scan it later that's all about it thank you for your time for your attention for your patience thank you so much what about the next sessions we have scheduled so currently in the february we are having these eight sessions this one is already done and today we have covered this complete leukemia in one shot today is 7th of february i guess after 12 it's already 8th anyways um on 12th of february again the same timing 10 p.m 10 p.m 10 complete contraceptive devices in one shot now you have contraception in multiple subjects sometimes you read it in obg obstetric and gynecology you read it in community medicine you read it in multiple subjects i will compile all of them at one place in one shot and you get many questions from the contraceptive devices so we will compile and compare and we will do a most simplified version of that after that we have a session on hypersensitivity we have session on triage we have session of thalassemia this month only we have we have i'm going to compile complete mycology in one shot on huge demand of students all fungus at one place in one shot and we have a session on all pharmacokinetics important things in entire pharmacology pharmacokinetics at one place in one shot so these all are important sessions this month you can take the snapshot the timing of all session is same it's 10 pm onwards in the night 10 to 12 10 to 1 whatever 1 am approx so two to three hour session because in the late night students are more you know awake and have seen huh the late most of the students nowadays they are late night owls i have seen instead of early morning i know wake up so that's why we have scheduled the sessions three times thank you so much good night i hope you have enjoyed the session you have learned a lot of it so don't forget to share your feedback it's important for us to improve thank you so much and to be if you want to be odd one you if you want to be number one you have to be odd one so never uh, be afraid if you are different from others never be afraid okay so thank you so much bye bye good night all the best so i am ending this session and uh, just a second give me a minute i would like to wish best of luck to the students who are going to appear in the exam in the next few months many students second drop mbba students texted me to take this topic because they are going to appear in the exam this month next month in the next few days so on huge demand i have scheduled this so i want to wish best luck to all those students thank you so much wishing all the best to all of you bye bye good night